if you are converting work into heat, yes, 100% conversion is possible. Suppose one vehicle is moving continuously, it is moving, it is giving some useful output, and if you are putting some brakes, that work which was being done, that work immediately will be converted into heat on the brake shoes, and in equal amount it is possible. But reverse is not true. And many, many losses are there, many, many irreversibilities are there when we are converting this heat into work. Even your thermal power plants, where electricity we are generating with the help of coal. So heat source is your coal, work output which you are getting, we are getting on the generators in the form of electricity that is high grade energy. In the case of thermal power plants, we are heating water in the boilers with the help of coal. That water which has been converted into steam, it is passing over the turbine blades and finally it is resulting into electrical energy which is through generator. The generator is connected to a turbine. But the conversion, suppose 100 kilojoule heat we have given to boiler with the help of coal. The conversion into useful work may be around 21%, 22%, 23%. So huge losses are there in between. Major reason for not getting 100% efficiency is every heat engine, every heat engine it has to work in a cycle. If it is not working in a cycle, continuously output we won't be getting. In a boiler we have given heat, steam has been generated, that steam has passed over the turbine blades. After passing over turbine blades, again that same steam we are supplying to boiler. Then cycle will be completed because water has been heated, it has been converted in the form of steam, it has passed over the turbine blades, finally it came out from the turbine at a lower pressure, again lower pressure that steam we are supplying back to, uh, back to boiler. So the cycle is getting completed for completing the cycle because when it is passing over turbine blades and when it is coming out it is in the form of steam and if that same steam we are supplying to boiler which boiler is at higher pressure maybe some 15 bar pressure, 20 bar pressure, 25 bar pressure but when steam is coming out from the turbine blades its pressure may be roughly atmospheric pressure or slightly higher than atmospheric. That pressure steam if you are supplying back to, to, to boiler where pressure is higher, after uh, expansion in the turbine pressure is lower. So if you are supplying back, we'll have to compress it. We'll have to compress it. If you are compressing the steam, whatever amount of uh, work we have obtained over the turbine, same amount of work we'll have to give as an input and then only that steam will be going back to boiler because boiler pressure is higher. If, if same steam in the same phase, if you are supplying back, then useful output which we will be getting that is zero means whatever we have got from the turbine same amount of work will have to give to the compressor for the purpose of compression and then only it will be reaching to boiler so net output will be zero so what we are doing we are changing the phase after expansion over the turbine blades we are changing the phase means steam we are getting converted into liquid into water again if you are converting it into water then heat will have to reject into the surrounding if you are rejecting the heat to the surrounding that is wastage of heat. The heat we have given with the help of coal but for the purpose of heating the water but for the purpose of condensation because we are changing the phase and liquid will be compressing and then it will be supplying to again to the boiler. When we have changed the phase that time will have to reject heat to the surrounding and that is wastage. So that's why that's why when heat engine is working in a cycle its efficiency can't be 100 percent. Suppose 100 kilojoule heat we have given for the purpose of heating and in condenser for changing the phase from vapor to liquid some 30 kilojoule heat we have rejected. So effectively the efficiency which will be, we will be getting that is 70 divided by 100. Output will be 70 because 30 kilojoule we have rejected into the surrounding for the purpose of changing the phase. So efficiency won't be 100 percent. So in any heat engine efficiency can't be 100 percent if it, it, it can be possible only if you are not rejecting the heat to the surrounding. Same is the case of Carnot cycle. Somewhere I will be discussing Carnot cycle also which is most efficient but still it is not 100% efficient because in the case of Carnot cycle also we will have to work in a cycle. If you are working in a cycle at some point of time we will have to re reject the heat to the surrounding for completing the cycle. So that's why efficiency of even Carnot cycle is not 100%. The unit of heat and work is same. It is joule or kilojoule like that one. Even in market suppose someone is selling this heat and work both. Someone is sitting in the market and is selling 
So 100 kilo joule he is, um, uh, heat is selling, same time 100 kilo joule of work he is selling and if you want to purchase, if cost is same, our preference will be at the same cost 100 kilo joule work and 100 kilo joule heat if it is available, our preference will be to purchase 100 kilo joule work because it is high grade energy. That 100 kilo joule work any time can be converted into 100 kilo joule heat, but 100 kilo joule heat can't be converted into 100 kilo joule work. So that's why heat is termed as low grade energy, work is high grade energy. So our preference is always to have high grade energy. Even the energy which we are receiving from sun, the solar energy which we are receiving, it's low grade energy. It's low grade energy. The, the level of grade also increases as temperature is higher. Lower the temperature, grade is lower. Higher the temperature, grade is higher. Sun is at 5000 degrees Celsius. If energy we are getting at 5000 degrees Celsius, heat if you are getting at 5000 uh, degrees Celsius, its level will be higher. If you are getting heat at 40 degrees Celsius from sun at earth, its grade is very, very low, very low. Yes. So if we are get, if we are converting heat into heat, then it is quite efficient. If you are converting heat into work, then inefficient. If heat is getting converted into heat, suppose solar energy we are utilizing for the purpose of heating the water. With the help of solar heater, if you are heating the water, then heat is getting converted into heat only. Then it is 100% efficient. But if photovoltaic mechanism we are using, solar energy we are taking, and then we are converting it into electrical energy, it won't be 100%. Normally, the efficiency which you are getting even in solar photovoltaic, it is 18, 17, 16 percent. So efficiency is very, very poor. So always our efforts has to be, if we want to use heat, it should be in the form of heat only. Suppose you are having LPG gas cylinder. One option is directly on the on the, the, the burner we can heat water or we can heat. Uh, another option can be with the help of L LPG we can operate an engine. Yes, it is a fuel, it is hydrocarbon. With the help of that one, we can operate engine. With the help of engine, we can operate generator. We can obtain electricity. With the help of that electricity, again, we can heat water or milk. But this process will be inefficient. If LPG is directly being utilized for the purpose of heating of water and milk, that is more efficient because heat is being utilized for the purpose of heating only. If, if the whole process of engine, if you are using, converting that heat into work, and then we are utilizing, it is inefficient. So foremost challenge in the internal combustion engines are they are very less efficient because heat will have to convert into work. The most efficient engines which we are getting these days, those are very large two-stroke engines, very large two-stroke diesel engines, which we are using for the purpose of marine applications. Very large two-stroke engines where air fuel ratio is very lean, very lean. And in that case, thermal efficiency of engine, thermal efficiency of that two-stroke engine, it may reach around 50%. Maximum efficiency which we are achieving on this globe, that is through two-stroke diesel engines. And maximum efficiency, I am saying it may be 50%. Normally, the engines which we are using, normally the engines which we are using, say two-stroke petrol engine we are using. You will surprise to know the efficiency of these two stroke engines are around 11-12%, 11-12%. Meaning of 11-12% thermal efficiency is, suppose 100 kilojoule heat we have given with the help of petrol to piston, out of that one only 12, 12 kilojoule output we are getting on the crankshaft. 12% efficiency means output by output divided by input, output high grade energy, input low grade energy. Low grade energy we have given 100 kilojoule heat to piston for the purpose of movement of the piston, but on the crankshaft, the work output which you are getting, that is high grade energy. If it is 12 kilojoule, so 12 kilojoule divided by input which you are given, that is 100 kilojoule. And we are saying thermal energy, means thermal input which we, we have given, that is being compared with high grade output. So efficiency is 12%. So efficiency of two stroke engines, petrol engines are very poor, very, very poor. When you are coming to four stroke engines, in diesel engine, if I am saying normally for four stroke engines, it is 25-26%, say 27% even. In some of some good engines, in direct injection engines, it may reach up to 28-29 like that one. Same is the situation of petrol engines also. Four stroke petrol engines, again thermal efficiency is in the same range. Even if you are getting 28% efficiency, your losses are under minus 28, 72%. 
losses are there. So at this particular juncture, any researcher, if he is saying that I am able to improve the efficiency of these four stock engines by 1%, 1% भी अगर कोई इस efficiency को improve कर देता है, 28 से 29 भी कर देता है, 29 से 30 कर देता है, probably he will be the richest person of the world, जो efficiency को बढ़ा दे, इतने vehicles हैं अपने, इतने vehicles हैं अगर इसके efficiency को कोई बढ़ा सकता है, so certainly he will be the richest person of the world. So the, the, the biggest challenge which we people are having, it is the thermal efficiency, it is efficiency of the engines. 15% uh, of the total population are having vehicles. World is having population around 7 billion, 700 crore population in the whole world. In that case, 15% of the people vehicles. Hain. They are owner of that work. So, number of vehicles which we are having, it is slightly less than 1 billion. And in time to come, it is being said up to 2022, it will be more than that one. 110 crore ke aspas vehicles apne paas ho jayenge. And if some circle is dried, uh, devised around the earth, some, some 125 um, circles will be there um, around the earth. These many vehicles are available on the earth. When auto and diesel somewhere in 1890, when they plant these cycles, that time they never thought of कि इस तरह के इतने इंजन आ जाएंगे और इंजन आने से इंसान को फायदा भी होगा और इंसान को नुकसान भी होगा कितना बड़ा नुकसान हो सकता है कभी भी they are never thought of even those areas I'll be covering कि कितना नुकसान हो रहा है इन इंजन से particularly if you are discussing the sustainable development एक अच्छी सी हवा में सांस लेने की बात हो उस हवा को किस तरह से इस इंजन की वजह से deteriorate हुआ है, spoiled हुआ है, those issues also will be discussing. So first of all, when we are saying heat engines, it is converting heat into work. These engines are of two types, one is internal combustion engines, another one is external combustion engines. In internal combustion engine, the conversion of heat into work and basically combustion of fuel is inside the cylinder and then that heat is being utilized for the purpose of uh, converting that heat into work, but combustion is taking place inside the cylinder. Another type of engines, heat engines are external combustion engines where the heat is being uh, used at a different place and work output we are getting at a different place. Just like we, I, I have given the example of thermal power plants, steam engines, steam engines, you are here, even, even steam power plants which we are saying, electrical power plants, uh, those are in the category of external combustion engine, even nuclear power plants. In the case of nuclear power plants, again, nuclear energy is being utilized um, for the purpose of heating the water. The water is getting converted into steam. Again, that steam is passing over the turbine blades. And finally, those water, um, 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 uh, water contents are uh, getting entered into the boiler. So heating is at another place. Output we are taking at another place. And same is the gas engine. And this, this, this gas turbines where we are saying, where gas is the fuel, the gas is heating the water, and same cycle is of external combustion engine. So when combustion is taking place outside the cylinder, it is external combustion engine. When it is inside the cylinder, it is internal combustion engine. Always internal combustion engines are more efficient as compared to external combustion engines. And when I'm saying efficient, when efficient word I'm using, it is thermal efficiency. The, 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 the term regularly we are using in the case of engines, when just efficiency we are saying, it means thermal efficiency. Jiske basis pe engines ko compare kiya jata hai. So purpose of these engines are, I am saying it is converting heat into work. Ye mainly jo hai aapke parts hote hai engine ke andar. Engine ke andar agar dekhe teen isse hai main iske. Main iske teen isse hai. Ek sab se niche wala part, it is crankcase. Beach ka part, cylinder block. Top ka part, just like human being, at top we are having head. In the same fashion, cylinder is having head. So, cylinder head, block and crankcase, these are the main parts, in between cylinder head and cylinder block, we are having gaskets, which is leakage of your leakage, no water can be leakage, no water can be leakage, no water can be leakage, for the purpose of cooling, the gases which are there, it is due to combustion, the high pressure gases, it should not leak into the surrounding, so, for the leakage, ke liye, cylinder head and block ke beech mein apan गैसकेट प्रोवाइड करते हैं इसी तरह से गैसकेट अपन प्रोवाइड करते हैं नीचे क्रैंक केस और ब्लॉक को जोड़ने के लिए वहां पे भी आपकी जो है गैसकेट्स हैं एंड पर्पस ऑफ दोस गैस गैसकेट्स आर टू अवॉइड द लीकेज ऑफ ऑयल क्रैंक केस में आपका ऑयल होता है इफ इट इज फोर स्ट्रोक इंजन इन टू स्ट्रोक इंजन इट इज एम्प्टी द पर्पस ऑफ द क्रैंक केस इज 
to just to supply air and fuel mixture. In the case of two stroke engine, I am saying the purpose of the crankcase is to supply air fuel mixture, compressed air fuel mixture into the combustion chamber. That's the purpose of crankcase in the case of two stroke engine. Whereas in the case of four stroke engine, crankcase is having lubricating oil. Inside that one, we are having crankshaft. That crankshaft is connected to piston with the help of a connecting rod. The, the, the piston is moving, it is reciprocating movement and reciprocating movement is getting converted into rotary movement that is of the crankshaft. If it is a four stroke engine, when all four strokes are completed, charo activity is puri hoti hai, char activities upon kate hai, pelly activities is my fresh charge ko under lete hai. If it is diesel engine, fresh charge is air. If it is petrol engine, fresh charge is air plus fuel vapors yes petrol or air ki mixture jo hai it is coming inside the cylinder so the, that is first event that is suction stroke when it has been entered into the cylinder more or less its pressure inside the cylinder is atmospheric jaise piston tdc se bdc pe aata hai fresh mixture ko andar lete hue when it reaches to bdc more or less pressure inside the cylinder is atmospheric slightly it is lower than atmospheric slightly it is lower than atmospheric after that one, both valves we are closing and we are compressing that mixture. If it is a diesel engine, only air we have taken, that air will be compressed. If it is petrol engine, air plus fuel mixture will be compressed. Compression ke baad jo pressure temperature apne ko milta hai. In the case of diesel engine, it is quite high. Just after compression, I am not saying after combustion. Just after compression, the pressure temperature which we are getting, in the case of diesel engine, it is quite high. It may be around 31, 32, 35, even up to 40 bar. If compression ratio is a 16, compression ratio is 16. After compression, the pressure which we are getting, it is around 38, 39 bar. Just upon air under liya, dono wall ko band kiya, or compression stove pura kiya. That time, if you are measuring the pressure inside the cylinder, when piston is near top dead center, if you are measuring the pressure of air, it is around 38, 39 bar. Agar ye petrol engine hai, where compression ratio normally upon 8, 9, 10 ke aas paas rakhte hai, that time pressure inside the cylinder will be 13, 14 bar. So diesel engine or petrol engine mein fark ye hua ki diesel engine sirf air ko le raha hai, air ko compress kar raha hai, but it is compressing at a higher pressure, up to higher pressure it is compressing, but in the case of petrol engine, the, 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 the pressure which you are getting after compression, that is bit lower, lower pressure we are getting. So two events have been completed, first fresh mixture we have taken in both the cases in diesel and petrol and in both the cases we have compressed, compression ke baad, petrol mein we are having one intense source of, one intense source of energy that is in the form of a spark plug, the energy which we are supplying through, through spark plug, it may range from 1 to 3 millijoules, the, 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 the intense energy of source which we are having spark plug, it is giving intense energy for the purpose of initiation of combustion because in that case already air plus fuel vapors are available and that spark plug is being used for the purpose of initiation of combustion inside the cylinder. Aapke paas itti energy honi chahiye jo petrol ki vapor ko air ke saath jala sake. The ignition temperature of petrol is quite high as compared to diesel. Isko kehte hai SIT, self ignition temperature. To, Self ignition temperature, jo petrol ka hai, it is around 450 degrees Celsius. Kareeb 400 degrees Celsius, iska ignition temperature hota hai. Itti energy apne paas honi chahiye, which can initiate the, the, the combustion into the cylinder. Whereas in the case of diesel engine, after compression of air inside the cylinder, we are injecting the diesel. And I said, at the end of compression in the case of diesel engine, pressure is around 37-38 bar. When it is 37, 38 bar, temperature inside the cylinder may become somewhere 350 degrees Celsius. Kareeb saadhe 300 degrees Celsius, just compression se temperature ho jata hai. And in that atmosphere, if you are injecting the diesel, diesel ka self ignition temperature, it is around 180 degrees Celsius. Diesel kareeb 180 degrees Celsius pe burn ho sakta hai. Or mein kar raho compression ke baad, jo temperature apne create kar diya hai, it is around 350 degrees Celsius. So inside the cylinder, temperature of air is 350 degrees Celsius. In that atmosphere, we are injecting in injecting the diesel. Its self ignition temperature is around 180 degrees Celsius. So air ka temperature jada ho gaya, diesel ka ignition temperature kam hai. So combustion of diesel can be initiated. But in that environment, if we are injecting the petrol, suppose 
जिसका इग्निशन टेम्परेचर साढ़े चार सौ के आसपास है तो आपकी बर्निंग नहीं होगी पेट्रोल की डीजल इंजन के कंप्रेशन के बाद डीजल इंजन के अंदर एयर कंप्रेस करने के बाद अगर पेट्रोल इंजेक्ट करें वहां पे कंबसन वोन भी इनिशिएटेड बिकॉज इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ऑफ सेल्फ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ऑफ पेट्रोल इज हायर एज कंपेयर टू डीजल यस लेकिन आप देखना कभी भी देखते हैं अपन इन ओपन इफ डीजल एंड पेट्रोल आर लाइंग कुछ बर्तनों में अगर पेट्रोल और डीजल पड़ा हुआ है एंड इफ यू 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 ब्रिंग ए सोर्स ऑफ इग्निशन से से मैच बॉक्स वी आर एविंग एंड मैच स्टिक इफ यू आर ब्रिंगिंग नियर टू पेट्रोल चाहे उसका इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ज्यादा है लेकिन पेट्रोल जलना शुरू हो जाता है डीजल वॉन्ट आप देखना खुला अगर पेट्रोल डीजल पड़ा हुआ है डीजल द पेट्रोल सीम्स मोर इनफ्लेमेबल एज कंपेयर टू डीजल रीजन फॉर दैट वन इज दाइजेशन टेम्परेचर ऑफ पेट्रोल इज लोअर एट लो टेम्परेचर इट कैन वेपराइज सो पेट्रोल की सरफेस पे पेट्रोल की वेपर्स अवेलेबल होती है बट इन केस ऑफ डीजल वेपर्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल एट एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशन सो एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर जो पेट्रोल की सरफेस पे बना हुआ होता है मोर और लेस इट इज विद इन द कम्बस्टिबल रेंज एयर फ्यूल रेशियो जो है तो जैसे ही आप जो है जो आ, कोई कोई सोर्स इग्निशन का लेके जाते हैं पेट्रोल की वेपर्स आपको जलती हुई दिखती है क्योंकि वो एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर जो है ऐसा बन गया उसकी सरफेस के ऊपर विच इज विद इन द कम्बस्टिबल रेंज बट इन केस ऑफ डीजल आई एम सेइंग वेपराइजेशन ऑफ डीजल इज डिफिकल्ट उसकी वेपर्स वहां पे होंगी ही नहीं एयर के साथ सो नो बर्निंग विल बी देयर नॉर्मली वन वन वर्ड वी आर यूजिंग इट इज टर्म एज फर्स्ट एयर फ्यूल रेशियो मीनिंग ऑफ एयर फ्यूल रेशियो इज मास ऑफ एयर डिवाइडेड बाई मास ऑफ फ्यूल विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दर्पज ऑफ कंबसन इन केस ऑफ पेट्रोल इंजन ऑप्टिम एयर फ्यूल रेशियो और केमिकली करेक्ट एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर विच वी आर यूजिंग इट इज अराउंड 15. 15 का मतलब यह है कि 15 किलो अगर हवा हो और एक किलो पेट्रोल हो द मिक्सचर इज ऑप्टिम फॉर बर्निंग इट इज ऑप्टिम फॉर बर्निंग इट इज समाइम्स इट इज टर्म एज टोक्योमेटिक एयर फ्यूल रेशियो ऑल्सो समटाइम्स इट इज केमिकल केमिकली करेक्ट एयर फ्यूल रेशियो ऑल्सो सो वेपर ऑफ पेट्रोल विल बी अवेलेबल ऑर दर्फेस एयर विल बी अवेलेबल एंड दैट एयर फ्यूल रेशियो इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्टार्टिंग द कम्बसन In the case of diesel engine, again these are the hydrocarbons. These are the hydrocarbons, paraffins mainly. And paraffins are dominating into this one. Uh, petrol normally we can say some C8, H18. Diesel we can say C12, uh, some some H H28 like that one. So it is a mixture of hydrocarbons. But for the purpose of combustion, the mixture of air and fuel vapor should be available. Then only combustion can be initiated. So diesel and petrol, if I am comparing. After compression, in the case of diesel engine, pressure is higher. Petrol engine is lower. In the case of diesel engine, we are injecting the fuel in the form of diesel. In the case of petrol engine, we are initiating the spark. And finally, our purpose is to push the piston from TDC to BDC. नीचे अपने को लेके आना है जो crankshaft को rotate कर सके. And finally, fourth event is to exhaust those burnt products from the cylinder. हम हमेशा ये चाहते हैं. कि आपकी ज्यादा से ज्यादा फ्रेश मिक्सर सिलेंडर में आए और कंबसन होने के बाद नोट ए सिंगल पार्टिकल ऑफ बर्न प्रोडक्ट शुड बी अवेलेबल इनसाइड साइड दिलेंडर अवर टारगेट इज ड्यूरिंग दक्शन स्टॉक मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ एयर एंड फ्यूल शुड बी टेकन इन टू दिलेंडर विद इन कंबस्टिबल रेंज विद इन कंबस्टिबल रेंज मोर और लेस केमिकली करेक्ट आई एम सेन एंड वेन वी आर ओपनिंग द एग्जोस्ट वाल वेन वी आर मेकिंग दो बर्न प्रोडक्ट टू गो आउट अवर टारगेट इज that everything everything which has taken part into the combustion the, the air the co2 o2 hydrocarbons oxides or not everything which is available they should go out from the cylinder into the atmosphere so optimum engine operation is maximum amount of air should be taken into the cylinder and up to the possible extent the burnt product should go out so four events are there i am saying one is suction another one is compression third one is expansion when power we are getting and finally exhaust during all these four strokes speed of piston is different piston is moving at a different speed suppose suction is there piston is going in downward direction the, the crankshaft is making this piston to go down and inlet valve is in open position suction atmosphere from atmosphere it is taking the fresh mixture into the the cylinder the piston is moving slowly towards the downward direction when it will be moving up in compression stroke your both the valves are in closed position and piston has to compress the mixture 
अब जब कंप्रेस करेगा तो इसका मतलब नेगेटिव फोर्स भी उसके अगेंस्ट में लग रहा है इट मीन दैट टाइम स्पीड ऑफ द पिस्टन विल बी स्लोएस्ट लोएस्ट स्पीड विल बी गेटिंग वन इज सक्शन स्टो रीजनेबली हायर स्पीड वेन इट विल बी कंप्रेसिंग इट स्पीड विल बी मिनिमम एंड इन थर्ड स्टो वेन पावर इज बींग जनरेटेड वेन प्रेसर इन साइड दिलेंडर इज सिग्निफिकेंटली हायर दैट टाइम पिस्टन इज बींग पोस्ट इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन दैट टाइम इट विल बी हैविंग मैक्सिमम स्पीड तब आपकी पिस्टन की स्पीड सबसे ज्यादा है and finally when we are exhausting the burnt products again piston is moving in a point direction but size of exhaust valve is very small very small so when it is exhausting the burnt product the rate at which it is moving in a point direction at the same rate burnt products are not going out from the cylinder so pressure cylinder ke andar hota hai it is slightly higher than atmospheric pressure jab aapka exhaust stroke chal raha hota hai jis rate se wo burnt products ko bahar nikalne ki koshish karta hai at the same rates burnt products are not going out so pressure inside the cylinder will be higher than atmospheric to us time the speed piston ki kam rehti hai to dekho aap charon jo stroke ho rahe hain un charon stroke mein piston ki speed different hai it is different even ek stroke mein bhi jo speed apne ko milti hai ek stroke mein bhi speed milti hai that also is different suppose this point pe combustion start hua where pressure is more than 40 bar 45 even in the case of diesel engine peak pressure after combustion may reach 80 bar जब 80 बार प्रेशर होता है दैट टाइम मैक्सिमम फोर्सेस आर कमिंग ऑन द पिस्टन दैट टाइम स्पीड विल बी वेरी हाई एज एक्सपांशन स्ट्रोक इज गोइंग ऑन गोइंग ऑन प्रेशर इज गेटिंग रिड्यूस स्पीड ऑफ द पिस्टन इज गोइंग डाउन सो एक स्ट्रोक में भी आपकी पिस्टन की स्पीड डिफरेंट होती है एंड व्हेन फोर स्ट्रोक्स आर कंप्लीटेड इट इज टर्म्ड एज वन साइकिल हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड वन साइकिल मींस फोर इवेंट्स हैव बीन कंप्लीटेड बट इन अ साइकिल द स्पीड ऑफ पिस्टन इज डिफरेंट यस एंड व्हेन वन साइकिल इज कंप्लीटेड योर क्रैंक शाफ्ट विल बी रोटेटिंग बाय two revolutions if it is four stroke engine if it is two stroke engine the rotation of crank shaft that is in two stroke in two stroke crank shaft will be rotating by one revolution aapka four stroke complete hote hi crank shaft ke do revolutions ho jate hain yani 720 degree ye rotate ho jati hai otes port in engine is your exhaust valve exhaust valve is the otes port and agar aapko pata karna ho cylinder head khol ke particularly in petrol engine कि इसमें से एक्जोस वाल कौन सा है और इनलेट वाल कौन सा है दोनों को पता करना हो अपनी सिलेंडर हेड खोल लिया जस्ट यू वांट टू फाइंड आउट दैट विच वन इज एक्जोस वाल विच वन इज इनलेट वाल इन पेट्रोल इंजन साइज ऑफ एक्जोस वाल इज स्मॉलर एज कंपेयर टू इनलेट वाल आपका इनलेट वाल का साइज बड़ा होता है पेट्रोल इंजन में एक्जोस वाल का साइज छोटा होता है बट इन दिखे डीजल इंजन बोथ दी साइज आर सेम इनलेट वाल साइज and exhaust valve size are same i am saying exhaust valve is the otes port in engine and in petrol engine we don't want that any hot spot should be available inside the cylinder even if some hot spot is there its size should be very small otherwise it will be resulting into pre ignition it will be resulting into detonation it is re resulting into knocking of the engine knocking means ये अनबर्ड मिक्सर को ये एग्जोस वाल ही जलाने लग जाता है नॉट ओनली स्पार्क प्लग दिस एग्जोस वाल इज बिकमिंग सोर्स ऑफ इग्निशन एंड इवन नियर एग्जोस वाल कंबसन कैन बी स्टार्टेड और अगर ये कंबसन यहाँ पे स्टार्ट कर देता है रेट ऑफ प्रेशर इन इनसाइड द सिलेंडर में बिकम क्वाइट हाई एंड दैट इज टर्म एज नोकिंग सो पेट्रोल इंजन में हमारे एफर्ट्स रहते हैं कि कोई भी गर्म स्पोर्ट नहीं हो इवन इफ इट इज देयर इट शुड बी स्मोलेस्ट सो आपका जो मास है इवन एग्जोस वाल का जो मास है जो जो हीट कैपेसिटी उसकी है That should be minimum. Heat storage capacity should be minimum. Petrol engine को हमेशा अपन चाहते हैं एटमोस्फेयर कंडीशन के आसपास ही ऑपरेट हो हमेशा इवन जो मिक्सर जा रहा है एयर फ्यूल मिक्सर इट शुड बी वेरी नियर टू एटमोस्फेयर कंडीशन अंदर इन साइड दी सिलेंडर वॉल्स एवरीवेयर वी वॉन्ट अराउंड एटमोस्फेयर टेम्परेचर शुड बी देयर सो दैट नो हॉट स्पॉट शुड बी एंड कंबसन शुड बी नॉर्मल ये आपका आई एम जस्ट जस्ट आई वॉज टेलिंग योर कन्वर्जन ऑफ हीट इन टू वर्क ई इन इट इज हीट ऑफ द फ्यूल मे बी पेट्रोल मे बी डीजल एंड फाइनली ई आउट इज योर यूजफुल आउटपुट योर वर्क आउटपुट योर हाई ग्रेड एनर्जी आउटपुट एंड एफिशियंसी विच आई एम सेइंग द रेशियो ऑफ ई आउट डिवाइडेड बाय ई इन इज अराउंड 25 परसेंट इन द केस ऑफ फोर स्टोक इंजन एंड इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन लोड ऑल्सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन लोड ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट ट्वेंटी इज नॉट फिक्सड एक लोड की बात करें अपन अगर इंजन की पांच किलोवाट आउटपुट है सपोज डीजल इंजन है अगर पांच किलोवाट आउटपुट है इफ यू आर टेकिंग फाइव किलोवाट फ्रॉम दिस वन इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट लोडेड 
at when diesel engines loading is 100% its efficiency is also more or less 24 25% but if loading is 50% only aapka 5 kilowatt ki bajaye 2.5 kilowatt hi load apne le rakha hai efficiency won't be 25 it may be some 13 14% to jaise jaise load badhta hai aapka aapki efficiency jo hai badhti jati hai in in the case of engine where we are getting the maximum efficiency again i am saying when i am saying efficiency it is thermal efficiency the load at which maximum efficiency we are getting it is termed as rated power kisi bhi engine ki rated power ka matlab ye hai ki wahan pe wo maximum thermal efficiency apne ko de raha hai jo main 25 26 27% ki baat kar raha hu so always we want that engine should work fully loaded when it is fully loaded more or less efficiency is at its peak पार्ट लोडेड होगा तो कम होगा लोडिंग की बात मैं जैसे कहूं आपने कभी शादियों में देखा होगा शादियों में डीजल इंजन होता है उससे जनरेटर चल रहा होता है उस जनरेटर से कुछ लाइटें जलाते हैं बाजे और जो चलते हैं उसमें लाइटें जलाते हैं मान लो इंजन का आउटपुट मैक्सिमम पांच किलो हो सकता है और लाइटें जो उससे जुड़ी हुई हो अगर वो डेढ़ किलो की हो तो लोड ऑन द इंजन विल बी वन पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई मैक्सिम फाइव किलो सो लोडिंग आपके करीब थर्टी परसेंट लोडिंग है उसपे जब 30 परसेंट लोडिंग होगी आपकी सो एफिशिएंसी ऑफ इंजन विल बी क्वाइट लो बट अगर 5 किलोवाट का इंजन और 5 किलोवाट की लाइटें आपने उसमें लगा रखी है देन लोडिंग इज 100 परसेंट एंड दैट टाइम मैक्सिमम एफिशिएंसी वी कैन ऑप्टेन सो टारगेट ऑलवेज इज टू ऑपरेट दीज इंजन एट इट्स मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी मैक्सिमम लोड पे अपन इसको ऑपरेट करें करीब करीब अगर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देखें अपन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देखें आपको हीट से वर्क आउटपुट जब ले रहे हैं कुछ आपका फ्रिक्शन में चला जाता है कुछ एग्जोस्ट के साथ जो एग्जोस्ट गैसेस भी जा रही हैं, दे आर गोइंग एट हायर टेम्परेचर देन एटमोस्फेरिक वेन वी आर टेकिंग फ्रेश मिक्सचर इन टू दी सिलेंडर इज टेम्परेचर एटमोस्फेरिक बट वेन बर्न प्रोडक्ट्स आर गोइंग आउट इन दी एग्जोस्ट ऑफ इन टू दी एटमोस्फेयर दे आर टेम्परेचर आर हायर देन एटमोस्फेरिक इसका मतलब उनके साथ कुछ एनर्जी है और वो एनर्जी कौन सी है जो पेट्रोल के कंबसन से या डीजल के कंबसन से एनर्जी मिली है दैट हैज बीन एडेड इन टू दैट एग्जोस्ट सो सम एनर्जी इज गोइंग थ्रू दी एग्जोस्ट some energy is being lost in to, in operating some of the mechanical components just like your cam shaft your valves your, your pumps everything is getting operated with the help of that one that energy is going into that one and then we let to cool the engine we let to cool the engine so that inside the cylinder temperature may somewhere around atmospheric temperature wall ka temperature hai, it may, it should be somewhere around atmospheric temperature agar bahut zyada walls ka temperature hoga अंदर सिलेंडर के अंदर वॉल्स का टेम्परेचर ज्यादा होगा बिकॉज मेटेलिक वॉल्स आर देयर देर एक्सपांशन विल बी एट हाई टेम्परेचर देर एक्सपांशन विल बी पिस्टन इज ऑल्सो मेटेलिक इट्स एक्सपांशन विल बी टेम्परेचर इज हायर देन मूवमेंट ऑफ द पिस्टन इन साइड दिलेंडर विल बिकम डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज एक्सपांशन की वजह से आपका डायमीटर कम हो जाएगा एंड पिस्टन विल बी एक्सपांडिंग द डायमीटर ऑफ पिस्टन विल इंक्रीज सो मूवमेंट विल बिकम डिफिकल्ट एंड ऑलवेज वी वॉन्ट दैट इन साइड द सिलेंडर ऑन द सिलेंडर वॉल्स देर शुड बी लेयर ऑफ लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल हो जो पिस्टन और सिलेंडर के बीच में फ्रिक्शन कम करे इफ टेम्परेचर इन साइड दिलेंडर विल बी हायर लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल वॉन्ट स्टे ऑन दिलेंडर वॉल्स वो अगर उसकी विस्कोसिटी मेंटेन नहीं रहेगी सो इट वॉन्ट स्टे ओवर दिलेंडर वॉल्स इट विल बी गोइंग इन टू दी क्रैंक केस सो इट शुड भी टेम्परेचर शुड बी इन साइड दिलेंडर शुड भी एटमोस्फेरिक देन ओनली लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल कैन स्टे ओवर दी सिलेंडर वॉल्स सो फॉर मेंटेनिंग दैट एटमोस्फेरिक टेम्परेचर इन साइड दिलेंडर कंटिन्यूसली विल टू कूल दी वॉल्स with the help of air or with the help of water or with the help of some coolants which we are using these days kuch hare rang ka coolant aapko dikhta hai engines mein hai na hare rang ka dikhta hai it is glycerin jo 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 hara hara coolant apne ko dikhta hai basically for cooling the engine the cooling arrangement which we are having it is glycerin and normally the, the mixture is 50% water 50% glycerin and green uh, color which is there it is uh, intensely we are adding dye we are adding color we are adding wo color jo hai original color nahi intensely we are adding aur uska reason ye hai ki suppose vehicle we have parked somewhere and from the radiator if some leakage is there that green fluid will be on the ground so if leakage is there driver immediately can recognize that some liquid is leaking so so the color which we are mixing we are mixing intensely so that if leakage is there that leakage can be traced With, uh, with the help of that one, yes. We are mixing glycerin into water. Reason for that one is when we are mixing glycerin into water, the boiling temperature of water increases. If around 50% uh, glycerin we are having in water, boiling temperature of water may be around 150 degrees Celsius. Normal at normal atmospheric conditions, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. But if you are mixing glycerin into this one, 
as percentage of glycerin is increasing while temperature increases. So 50% glycerin if you are having temperature boiling temperature become 150 degrees Celsius and freezing temperature goes down. Freezing temperature may become some minus 30 degrees Celsius if 50% glycerin we are having. Suppose car we are using in Chandigarh in one case, another case we are using same car at Ladakh where temperatures are very low particularly winter temperature may become some minus 15 degrees Celsius. If normal water we are using for the purpose of cooling at minus 15 degrees Celsius, it will become ice. If it will become ice, then no circulation. And if ice it is becoming, its volume increases, aapki jo, jo tubes hain, hai, cooling ke liye jo radiator ki tubes were hai, wo sari tubes fat jayengi. So for that purpose, we are adding glycerin so that even at minus 15 degrees Celsius, minus 20 degrees Celsius, it will remain in liquid form. So, आजकल जो coolant काम में आ रहे हैं और इनका losses भी नहीं होता, बहुत time बाद में अपने को कुछ additional डालना पड़ता है. The, the whole system is a closed system, even vaporization at normal condition, vaporization of that one is not taking place. So, no loss of coolant is there. But in earlier models of cars, if you see, कुछ ही दूर चलने के बाद, 50 km चलने के बाद, driver used to find out some, some daba. From there, he used to take water, he was putting water into radiator and काफी गरम सा अपने को vapor आते हुए दिखते थे. Now that problem has out and it has been resolved certainly and 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 the, the, the coolants which we are using they are having higher boiling temperature and lower freezing temperature like in the coolant which heat leak is at from engine it is taking it is rejecting into the radiator radiator is taking air from atmosphere it is passing over the radiator and tubes and that heat is rejected into the atmosphere so upon the heat the uska kuch is up ka burnt products ke roop me chala gaya exhaust cases ke saath me कुछ आपका वाटर के साथ में चला गया कुछ एसेसरीज जिनको ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं इंजन के साथ में जो है इवन योर इग्निशन सिस्टम योर लिब्रिकेशन सिस्टम योर फ्यूल सप्लाई सिस्टम योर क्रैंक शाफ्ट योर गियर्स मेनी गियर्स वी आर ऑपरेटिंग सो सम ऑफ द एनर्जी इज नीडेड इनटू दैट ओवरकमिंग दोस रेजिस्टेंसेज व्हिच आर ड्यू टू दोस एसेसरीज सो नॉर्मली दिस इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन 30 30 30 मेजर लॉस मेजर इज 30 30 30 30 थर्मल एफिशिएंसी दैट इज आउटपुट वी आर सेइंग इट इज थर्मल द कूलिंग लॉसेस एग्जॉस्ट लॉसेस एंड uh, uh, on the basis of this one, we are we are preparing a sheet that is termed as heat balance sheet. Heat balance sheet take engine ki ki kitti heat apan ne di or wo heat kis kis kaam mein aai that balance if you are making that is termed as heat balance sheet. Kuch terms apan normally kaam mein lete hain. One is bore, diameter of the cylinder, stroke, distance between TDC and BDC, then engine displacement between TDC and BDC. Yeah, yes, the, 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 the diameter bore is say D, stroke is S or L. So between TDC and BDC, the volume which is available, it is termed as displacement. And above TDC and cylinder head, the volume which we are having, it is clearance volume. It is clearance volume. So sare cylinder ka volume jo hota hai, wo displacement plus clearance agar jod ne apan, that becomes the total volume. Yes, total volume of the cylinder. So, upon baat karte hain, 800 cc ki gaadi ye hai, ya 100 cc ka jo hai, engine hai, cc is centimeter cube. cc is centimeter cube. So, if 100 cc engine is, means between TDC and BDC, the volume which we are having, it is under centimeter cube. It is under centimeter cube. That displacement is there. If I add displacement and clearance volume, that becomes total volume. If that total volume is divided by clearance volume, it becomes, this term becomes compression ratio. If clearance volume and displacement volume I am adding and the same is being divided by clearance volume, the term become compression ratio. In the case of petrol engine, this compression ratio is around 8, 9, earlier it was 6, 6.5, 7. Now efforts are being uh, there to increase the compression ratio in petrol engine. Jabki diesel engine may efforts see that compression ratio kam kiya jai. Petrol engine may ask trend ye hai ki compression ratio badaayin upon even at 10 vehicles are being used. आपके CNG वगैरह जहाँ पे जिनका ऑक्टेन रेटिंग काफी ज्यादा है कंप्रेशन रेशियो इवन 11, 11.5 इट इज बीइंग यूज्ड बट बट इन द केस ऑफ डीजल इंजन्स एफर्ट्स आर टू रिड्यूस द कंप्रेशन रेशियो फ्रॉम 18 टू 17.5, 17, 16 इवन मेनी ऑफ द किर्लोस्कर इंजन्स व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग स्टेशनरी इंजन्स देयर कंप्रेशन रेशियो इज 15 लोअर द कंप्रेशन रेशियो ऑफ द डीजल इंजन स्टार्टिंग बिकम्स इजीयर इंजन को स्टार्ट करना अगर कंप्रेशन रेशियो कम है स्टार्टिंग इज इजीयर अनदर वन the friction losses which we are having, it is lesser. Even leakage of the, the, the burnt products from the cylinder, it is lesser. Higher the compression ratio, higher the pressure inside the cylinder. If higher the pressure, the chances of leakage of burnt gases 
from the cylinder towards crankcase side or from the valve it is become much more so today's the, the, the trends are to reduce the compression ratio in the case of diesel engine and increase the compression ratio in petrol engine in the case of petrol engine we are increasing the compression ratio means thermal efficiency is increasing in the case of diesel engine at 15 compression ratio 16 17 18 more or less efficiency is constant Aapka lower compression ratios if you are going up we are reached to 15 compression ratio in diesel engine after that if you are increasing the compression ratio the efficiency curve become flat so effect of compression ratio above a certain limit it is not significant so that's why efforts are to reduce the compression ratio in the case of diesel engine another two more important terms we are using and that is power and another one is torque suction stroke may apna target hai if diesel engine to take air into the cylinder if it is petrol engine to take air plus fuel mixture into the cylinder during suction stroke we want maximum amount of air or air fuel mixture should enter into the cylinder ek stroke mein ek suction stroke mein jitna air fuel mixture apan cylinder ke andar lete hain fresh fresh which we are taking that is termed as unit air charge usko apan unit air charge kehte hain एक स्ट्रोक के अंदर सक्शन स्ट्रोक के अंदर अमाउंट ऑफ फ्रेश मिक्सचर विच इज एंटरिंग इनटू टू सिलेंडर इट इज यूनिट एयर चार्ज और यूनिट एयर चार्ज को हम हमेशा बढ़ाना चाहते हैं ज्यादा से ज्यादा यूनिट एयर चार्ज हो टॉर्क डिपेंड्स अपॉन टॉर्क डेवलप बाय द इंजन डिपेंड्स अपॉन यूनिट एयर चार्ज मोर द यूनिट एयर चार्ज मोर द टोर्क डेवलप बाई द इंजन एंड पावर डिपेंड्स अपॉन How much air fuel mixture we are receiving into the cylinder per second or per minute? आपके unit air charge में time नहीं है Unit air charge सिर्फ एक suction stroke का अपन calculate करते हैं That will decide the torque of the engine. But if per minute or per second amount of air which is entering, आपका suction stroke में enter होता है फिर तीन stroke में कोई fresh mixture enter नहीं होता न compression में होता है न expansion में होता है न exhaust में होता है दी 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 the mixture when it is entering into the cylinder that time your inlet valve is in open position it is termed as open cycle period jab charo stroke ko mila dete hain to ek cycle ban jati hai us cycle mein se suction ke time when your inlet valve is in open position that period is termed as open cycle period after that we are closing the inlet valve and we are compressing that one no mixture is coming to the cylinder no mixture is going out from the cylinder That is termed as compression. The time of compression is in the category of closed cycle period. जब cycle आपका closed है, दोनों वाल आपके closed है, no mass exchange is taking place with the surrounding. And in the suction stroke, mass is entering into the cylinder from atmosphere to cylinder. It is entering, and that entry we are assuming into the displacement volume, not on the clearance volume, not in the clearance volume. Clearance volume always is filled with burnt products. वो कभी बाहर नहीं जाते हैं so the fresh mixture which is entering into the cylinder that is only into the the, the swept volume or displacement volume jisko keh rahe hain apan when piston is going downward in power stroke after initiating the spark again there is no exchange of mass with the surrounding koi bhi aapka mixture bahar nahi ja raha hai koi andar nahi aa raha hai again it is in the category of closed cycle period and finally your exhaust valve opens at the time of exhaust stroke and burnt products are Going out, it is in the category of open cycle period. So those stroke जो आपके हैं suction और exhaust, it is open cycle period. Compression and expansion is closed cycle period. Yes, where there is no mass exchange with the surrounding from system to surrounding. If there is no mass exchange, it is closed cycle. So crankshaft का जो 360 degree movement है during expansion and compression, it is closed cycle period. During suction 180 degree crankshaft rotation, during exhaust 180 degree crankshaft rotation. it is in the category of it is in the category of open cycle period suppose one one engine is running at the speed of 300 rp uh, 3000 rpm rpm is revolution per minute suppose crankshaft is rotating by 3000 revolutions per minute how many cycles will be there then the, the crankshaft is rotating by 3000 revolutions per minute in four stroke when four stroke is completed one cycle is completed If four stroke is completed, crankshaft is rotating by two revolutions. So when there there is three thousand revolutions in a minute, how many cycles will be there? Half of that one. Four stroke me, one cycle होती है और जब एक cycle होती है crankshaft के दो revolution हो जाते हैं. 
So if crankshaft is rotating by 3000 revolutions per minute, it means number of cycles which we are having, it is half of that one, 1500. And unit air charge, I am saying it is for one cycle. Amount of air which is entering into a cylinder in one cycle, a suction stroke may. And per minute, if I will be saying, per minute I will be saying, one unit air charge multiplied by number of cycles in a minute, that will be amount of air which has been entered into the cylinder per minute. So the power output of the engine depends upon how much fresh mixture has been entered into the cylinder per minute or per second. Whereas torque depends upon amount of air fuel mixture entered into the cylinder in one cycle. This is unit air charge. One cycle ko torque decide kar, ek cycle mein jo mixture aara hai, fresh mixture aara hai, it will decide the torque. But power is time. Power is related with time. So minute ya second mein jitta mixture cylinder mein enter ho raha hai, that will decide the power. The physical meaning of torque and power is, suppose I am having a motorcycle, suppose I am having a motorcycle and I will have to overcome the loose sand. Some loose sand is there, some mud is there, I will have to overcome that one. Torque will decide that if I will be able to overcome that resistance or not. But power will decide how quickly I will be able to overcome that one. Because in that case, time is coming into picture. I think it is clear, the difference between torque and power, torque will decide that we will be able to overcome that resistance or not. And power will decide how fast, how quickly we will be able to overcome that is because time is coming to picture. So when we are deciding, when we are defining the volumetric efficiency, important part is volumetric efficiency. Volumetric efficiency decides the torque. And amount of volume of air entered into the cylinder per minute or per second, that will decide the power. Volumetric efficiency ka matlab ye hai ki ek cylinder ka displacement volume 800 cc jaysay maruti car hai, apne teen cylinder hai, 800 cc, 800 centimeter cube hai. Us 800 centimeter cube ke andar air ko bardhen apan atmospheric condition ke upar, pura ka pura 800 cc atmospheric condition pe agar bardh jata hai, then its volumetric efficiency is 100 percent. But what happens when piston is going in downward direction, size of the wall, inlet wall is very small, air which is coming from the atmosphere, it has to face many resistances in the path. First of all, there is air filter. Wo rokta hai air ko, jis speed se piston niche ja raha hai, the wall is in open position, the rate at which piston is moving in downward direction, at the same rate air is unable to follow the speed of the piston. Because first air filter is obstructing the flow of air. Then there is intake manifold. In the intake manifold, many bands are there. Yes. And if it is petrol engine, there is a carburetor also. If carburetor is there, there is throttle valve. There is venturi also. So through that one, when air is passing, lot of pressure drop is there. If pressure drop is there, so when it will be finally entering into the cylinder, its pressure will be lower than atmospheric. It won't be atmospheric pressure. So I am saying volumetric efficiency of the engine will be 100% if cylinder is filled at atmospheric condition. But because lot of obstructions are there, they are not permitting air to flow into the cylinder freely. So when finally air is available into the cylinder at the end of induction stroke, in inlet stroke, suction stroke, the air which will be available, when piston will be at BDC at the end of uh, suction stroke, the air which will be available in the cylinder, its pressure is lower than atmospheric. If its pressure is lower, then density is also lower. Density is P by RT. At atmospheric condition, P is atmospheric pressure. But density when we, I am calculating the fresh mixture which is available inside the cylinder, its density will be lower than atmospheric because pressure has gone down. Even if T is same, R is constant, the pressure is lower, density is lower. So mass of air which is inside the cylinder, it is volume of the cylinder multiplied by density. Volume I am saying 800 cc. But density has gone down, it means amount of air which we could trap into the cylinder, it is lesser as compared to when conditions would have been atmospheric. So, if the volumetric efficiency is to increase, if it is to take 100%, so effort should be whatever resistances are there in the flow of air, those resistances should be reduced, it should be removed. Advantage with diesel engine is, in the case of diesel engine, there is no carburetor. Just freely air is entering into the cylinder. So, normally the volumetric efficiency of diesel engines are higher as compared to petrol engine because obstructions are okay. not there, yes. So these are the, the major terms which normally we are using.
Uh, this is bore I am saying, the diameter I am saying, showing of the cylinder, it is bore. Then I am showing piston, top of the piston. If, if it is a petrol engine, top of piston is flat. It is a flat. Yes. But if it is diesel engine piston, even by seeing you can recognize. In the case of diesel engine piston, there is a dip, there is a bowl. Yes. Top is not flat. The part of the, the, the top is in the form of a bowl. Or more or less we can say clearance volume at the end of compression, the air which will be, it is more or less in the bowl. Sari ki sari air jo hai, compression ke baad uske andar a jati hai. There is a specific purpose for creating this bowl, having this bowl. In the case of diesel engines, it is very very important because separately we are taking air, separately we are injecting the diesel. Jaysay mein inauguration pe mein baat kar raha tha, it is just like coat marriage. Koi tayari nahi hai. Ek side se air le li hai panne, we have compressed that air and in that atmosphere, we are injecting the diesel. Our sole target is that diesel particulates should come in contact with air rapidly. When they will be coming in contact with, with air, then proper air fuel mixing will be there. So for making that, that air fuel mixing proper, our target is that air should rotate rapidly. Air should rotate. If in rotating environment we are injecting the diesel, then chances of formation of air fuel mixture, proper fuel, air fuel mixture will be better. This rotation of air, which is very very important in diesel, in petrol it is not important because in petrol already we have mixed the air fuel into the carburetor and that mixture we are supplying to the cylinder even during suction stroke it will be mixing then we are compressing still if it is mixing is not proper during compression time it will be mixed and then we are initiating this part but in the case of diesel engine separate processes are there separate entry of air is there and separate diesel is there so first of all entry of air in the case of diesel engine our efforts are it should be tangential entry air should enter tangentially if tangential entry is there it will be having two components of velocity when it is entering to the cylinder one is horizontal one is vertical vertical component will try to move the air in downward direction but horizontal component will try to rotate the air into the cylinder so always entry of air in the case of diesel engine is tangential and this movement is known as swirl s w i r l Swirl is a guided movement of air and in that atmosphere we would like to inject the diesel. Another one I am saying there is a bowl in the piston. The bowl in the piston and the injection which we are doing that is towards the bowl. The injector is injecting more or less fuel inside the bowl. When piston is coming in compression stroke, all the air will enter into the bowl. When it will be entering into the bowl and there we are injecting the fuel. But when piston starts to go down into the um, towards the bottom dead center, the air should go out. Air is go out. So one movement was like this one. In another direction, when it is coming out from the bowl at the time of expansion, the movement of air will be like this one. Another plane it is moving. That is termed as squeeze. One is swirl. That it is in this plane air is rotating. With the help of bowl, we are making air to rotate in this plane. So resultant velocity will be quite high swirl and squeeze resultant velocity which will be getting in which we are injecting the diesel that velocity will be quite high and it is helping in mixing of air and diesel inside the cylinder so piston jo diesel engine ke honge wo different tarah ke honge aur wahan pe apna purpose ye hai ki jaldi se jaldi diesel aur aapke air contact mein aaye jabki petrol engine mein is tarah ke movement ki apne ko zarurat nahi hoti so that's why piston of the petrol engines are flat एक फायरिंग ऑर्डर भी काम में लेते हैं अपन दी फायरिंग विच वी आर डूइंग इन दी सिलेंडर्स इट इज इंपोर्टेंट इन मल्टी सिलेंडर इंजन दीज डेज दी नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर्स विच वी आर यूजिंग नॉर्मली इन कार्स देर आर फोर सिलेंडर्स इन ट्रक्स इट इज सिक्स सिलेंडर इवन इट इज एट सिलेंडर्स ऑल्सो इन बसेज सिक्स सिलेंडर्स एट सिलेंडर्स सो नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर्स आर मो यर फायरिंग ऑर्डर इज बिकमिंग वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फोर फोर सिलेंडर इंजन the the output which are taking we are taking from the crankshaft and the forces which are coming that is also coming on the crankshaft one option may be all the cylinder should fire at one particular time then piston, the, the crankshaft will be getting the maximum force that exactly we don't want we want that in one cylinder suppose it is going through power stroke another cylinder should go through compression stroke another stroke should go to exhaust stroke another cylinder should go to suction stroke like that one we want 
So, say first cylinder, suppose it is going through the power stroke, another may be related near to that one, it may be going through exhaust stroke. First, in the case of petrol engine, any cylinder where combustion is going on, nearby cylinders, because it is in line, in line cylinders, sir. in line, all the cylinders are in line. Mein. Suppose cylinder number 3 is giving power where combustion is going on, it is hottest, this cylinder is hottest. Remaining cylinder, somewhere it is suction stroke in some cylinder, some cylinder exhaust is there, some cylinder compression is there. So suppose nearby cylinder is having compression stroke and this cylinder is going through power stroke. It is possible because your combustion in the cylinder is going on, nearby cylinder they are made with cast iron, they are made with aluminium. So lot of heat from the combustion cylinder may be transferred to the cylinder where compression is going on. So us compression is going on, the temperature is going to increase the temperature. We never want. We never want that heat exchange among the cylinders should be. If it is among the cylinders, particularly when power is going on, nearby cylinder is in compression stroke, this heat is going to generate kar sakta hai, even chances of auto ignition will be in that cylinder. And knocking increases if continuous firing is there of cylinder number 3, then it is 4, then it is 2 like that. And we, we want to avoid this heat transfer. And second one we want that power which is coming on the crankshaft, it should be continuous and it should be balanced. Suppose it is coming from cylinder number 1, then it should come from cylinder number 3. So this side of bearing should have effective load. Other side when it is, it is cylinder number 1, so that side bearing load was there. Now it is at third, bearing load is here. So balancing will be there. So balancing of the crankshaft of the forces and thermal reasons are that we don't want to transfer the heat from one cylinder to another cylinder. That's why the firing order which we are fixing, 1, 1 is firing then 3, 3 is firing, then 4 is firing, near to 3, 4 can fire because it is connected to atmosphere where lot of even if some heating is there from 3 to 4, 4 is rejecting heat to the atmosphere, it may not be effective and then after 4, it is 2, so this is firing order, this is very very important, in every cylinder it is very very important and two major reasons for the firing order are told, that is one is thermal reasons of heat exchange reasons and another one the forces which are coming, that's the reason. This is normal, normal pistons are like this one, like this one. In one, there is power, jo mene ye pinkish jo dikh raha hai, ye power ho rahi hai, yaan pe combustion ho raha hai, iske andar side wale ke andar exhaust ho raha hai, ek ke andar aapka suction ho raha hai, ek ke andar compression ho raha hai, like that one, this balancing is there, this is firing order, this is firing order. Aapka petrol engine ke andar, I said, we are having spark plug for the purpose of initiation of combustion, in the case of diesel engine, we are having injector which is injecting the fuel. The pressure of injection, the pressure of injection is very very important in any diesel engine. Pressure in the in the cylinder after compression, I said it is around 40 bar. I said just air we have compressed, pressure is 40 bar into the cylinder. And now in that atmosphere we will have to inject the diesel. So certainly pressure of diesel should be higher than the pressure of air which is inside the cylinder. Normally the pressure which we are keeping, normally the pressure which we are keeping for starting the injection, starting the injection that is termed as injector needle lift pressure, that is injector needle lift pressure, that pressure is around 200 bars. This time pe injection shuru hota hai aapka injector se, that pressure is around 200 bar. So inside the cylinder pressure is 40 bar and the, the, the fuel pressure which is coming into the cylinder it is around 200 bars. But that pressure doesn't remain constant. Your combustion is, uh, your injection is not instantaneous. It is for some duration. Yes, injection shuru hua or kahi pe ja ke kuch time baad wo aapka close hoga. So starting point of injection and ending point of injection, it is some finite time we are having. So point at which your injection starts and point at which it closes, the pressure is not same. The rate at which the, the fuel pump is pushing the fuel towards the injector, through the injector holes, through the injector nozzles, the nozzle hole size is very very small, say around 0.2 mm size is there. Some nozzles are of single hole, their diameter is bit larger, but majority of the nozzles which we are using for the purpose of injection inside the cylinder, they are multi-hole. Sometimes it is three holes and sometimes it is five holes. In the case of trucks, buses, large engine, five hole nozzles are there. In smaller engine, three hole nozzles are there. So the rate at which the, the, the pump, fuel pump is pushing the diesel towards the injector, at the same rate liquid is not getting injected into the cylinder because the size of those holes are very small and liquid we can't compress. 
piston is the, the, the pump fuel pump is trying to uh, send the, that fuel into the cylinder but at the rate same rate it is not getting injected and I am saying we can't compress the liquid so piston is trying the, the, the fuel pump is trying to compress the liquid and it is not getting injected it means rate of pressurize of the fuel in the pipeline it becomes very high rate of pressurize becomes very high or jada tar pipeline aap logon dekha hoga jo fuel pump or injector ke beech mein pipeline hoti hai it is steel thick pipeline hoti hai jiske andar jo jo hole chalta hai it is very small and fuel is getting transferred from pump to injector so even in that pipeline pressure may become around 1000 bar at the time of injection initially i am saying when your injector needle lift lifts that time pressure is 200 bar but injection is for some finite time continuously the fuel pump is forcing the diesel to, to go into the cylinder but same rate it is not getting injected it means in the pipeline the pressure increases rapidly it is increases so when we are ending the, the, the injection even pressure may reach to 1000 bars so these days efforts are to increase the injection pressure injection pressure badhaye jise droplet size jo, jo diesel jo inject ho raha hai the size of the droplet should be smaller if it is smaller, vaporization of those droplets inside the cylinder will be better in the air and, and combustion of diesel will be better. When we are injecting the diesel into the cylinder, at this node starts to burn. Jaysay inject kiya, wo burn hona suru nahi hoga. First of all, it has to vaporize. First of all, it has to atomize. Then it has to vaporize. It is getting heat from the air which is compressed air after the compression stroke. When it is taking heat from that, and then it is vaporizes and not only vaporization, its mixing is important. Mixing with air is important. So first is atomization of that one, second one, vaporization of that one, and third one, mixing of that one. All these three processes which I am mentioning, it is physical delay. It is physical process. We have, we have, we have started to inject the diesel, but it has not started to burn because its physical processes kuch jo hai, pure ho When physical processes will be completed, then some chemical reaction starts to take place. That is chemical delay. So combustion comes start hoga aapka, jab aapka physical delay pura ho jayega, or jab aapki chemical reactions which are required for the, for the start of combustion will be completed. So starting point of injection and starting point of combustion is different. This point pe aapka injection ona suru hai cylinder ke andar, or this point pe combustion ona suru hai, it is different. And the difference is due to physical delay and due to chemical delay. Us doran aapka fuel andar ikatha hota raita hai. Diesel engine ke andar physical delay or chemical delay jab tak chalta raita hai, naya fuel uske andar aata raita hai. As and when this physical and chemical delay completes, that particular point of time enough fuel is available inside the cylinder for the purpose of combustion. So immediately when combustion will start, that time lot of fuel and air available for the purpose of combustion वो एकदम से कंबसन करता है एकदम से जो जो है सीवियर ब्लास्ट टाइप होता है डीजल इंजन के अंदर एंड दैट फिनोमिना इज नोकिंग फिनोमिना डीजल इंजन के अंदर कंबसन जो स्टार्ट होता है वो आवाज करते हुए स्टार्ट होता है इट इज क्रिएटिंग लोट ऑफ नॉइज क्योंकि काफी फ्यूअल डिले पीरियड के टाइम जो है इकट्ठा हो गया है ऑलवेज एफर्ट्स आर दैट डिले पीरियड शुड बी मिनिमम डिले पीरियड शुड बी मिनिमम so that when combustion starts, the amount of fuel which is available into the cylinder, that should be less. If lower the delay period, the amount of fuel which has entered during delay period, that will be lesser. So when combustion will start, your rate of pressure is come over, rate of pressure is come over, the noise come over. As agar apne ko gaadi khridni ho, one option is I can purchase petrol car, another option is I can purchase diesel car. I am preferring petrol vehicle because noise of the engine is lesser as compared to diesel in the case of diesel engine reason is during delay period lot of fuel is being collected and as and when combustion starts it is creating lot of noise rate of pressure is kafi jada wo pressure wave cylinder walls pe jaake takrati hai aur awaz karti hai so in the case of diesel engine one term we are defining that is CTA number ek CTA number term kaam me lete hai higher the CTA number lower the chemical delay Lower the chemical delay means total delay reduces and knocking tendency jo hai kam ho jati. Rate of pressure is kam ho jata, ignition delay ke time fuel kam collect hota hai. Smaller the CTN number, smaller the CTN number, longer the chemical delay. Agar jada delay lamba ho gaya, to fuel jada collect ho jayega, jada noise karega. 
C10 number of petrol is very low. Octane number is high. Whereas C10 number of diesel is higher. Octane number is lower. अगर आपने पेट्रोल डालना शुरू कर दिया डीजल इंजन के अंदर अगर पेट्रोल सप्लाई कर दें वेर सी टेन नंबर ऑफ पेट्रोल इज वेरी लो इफ दैट फ्यूल विल बी सप्लाइंग इन डीजल इंजन इट विल बी क्रिएटिंग लोट ऑफ नॉइज बहुत ज्यादा नॉइज होगी कि आपका कंबसन शुरू होने से पहले केमिकल डिले इतना लंबा होगा कि सारा का सारा फ्यूल जो साइकिल में जाना चाहिए था सारा फ्यूल उसमें इकट्ठा हो जाएगा तब तक भी कंबसन शुरू नहीं होगा बिकॉज केमिकल डिले इज लॉन्गर एज एंड वेन कंबसन विल बी इनिशिएटेड देर विल बी लोट ऑफ नॉइज इन टू दी सिलेंडर काफी ज्यादा नॉइज जो है होगी तो कभी भी अपन डीजल इंजन के अंदर पेट्रोल काम में नहीं ले पाते ड्यू टू दिस कंबसन रीजन ड्यू टू दिस कंबसन रीजन यस जबकि पेट्रोल इंजन के अंदर विल बी हैविंग स्पार्क प्लग एंड स्पार्क प्लग इज इनिशिएटिंग दिस स्पार्क बट टिल दैट टाइम व्हेन वी आर इनिशिएटिंग दिस पार्क टिल दैट टाइम ऑल द फिजिकल प्रोसेसेस आपका ऑटोमाइजेशन मिक्सिंग वगैरह सब कंप्लीट हो चुका है कार्बोरेटर में ही हो गया सक्शन स्लोक के टाइम हो गया कंप्रेशन के हो गया सो देर इज नो फिजिकल डिले नो फिजिकल डिले इन द केस ऑफ स्पार्क इग्निशन इंजन ओनली वेन वी इनिशिएटेड दिस पार्क एंड एक्चुअली फ्लेम स्टार्ट टू प्रोपोकेट इन बिटवीन टाइम विच इज बींग टेकन दैट इज इन दिस केमिकल डिले केमिकल रिएक्शन सो इन द केस ऑफ डीजल इंजन द टर्म विच वी आर यूजिंग इट इज इग्निशन लैक जो केमिकल रिएक्शन जब पूरी होती है उसको इग्निशन लैक कहते हैं अपन इन द केस ऑफ पेट इन केस ऑफ डीजल इंजन there are two two processes of that delay or lag one is physical processes another one is chemical processes petrol engine ke andar apan chemical delay badhana chahte hain hamesha higher the octane number means longer the ignition lag longer the chemical reaction time in the case of diesel engine we want to reduce the chemical reaction time means higher the cetn number lesser the chemical ignition delay agar aapne petrol engine ke andar diesel dal diya In the case of petrol engine, we need longer chemical reaction time. Whereas C10 number, when I am saying significant C10 number around 45, which we are using in diesel fuel, here C10 number higher means chemical delay is lower. अगर आपने डीजल आपने पेट्रोल इंजन में डाला, again chances of severe knocking will be there. जब आपका ऑक्टेन नंबर कम होता है, तो केमिकल रिएक्शन का टाइम कम हो जाता है. और जैसे ही आपने स्पार्क किया, हो सकता है सारा फ्यूल बर्न हो जाए. No chemical reactions will be and rapidly the fuel will be burning. So, आपका कभी भी डीजल फ्यूल जो है पेट्रोल इंजन के काम का नहीं हो सकता और पेट्रोल जो है डीजल इंजन के काम का नहीं हो सकता दे आर जस्ट लाइक एनिमीज इन फैक्ट द डीजल एंड पेट्रोल आर जस्ट लाइक एनिमीज दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी इच अदर ऑल द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दीज फ्यूल्स आर डिफरेंट वो किसी को एक दूसरे को देखना नहीं चाहते आजकल जितने गैसेस फ्यूल्स काम में ले रहे हैं अपन चाहे सी काम में ले रहे हैं चाहे एल काम में ले रहे हैं चाहे बायोगैस आपने काम में ले रहे हैं ऑल we are using in spark ignition mode and reason for that one is their octane ratings are quite high octane rating of petrol which we are using it is 90 if octane rating of of lpg if i am saying it is around 100 octane rating of cng if i am saying it is more than 100 it is 120 so jitne gases fuels hain unko apan spark ignition mode mein hi use karna chahte hain because they are not knock prone un ki un gases ki wajah se knocking aapki kafi kam hoti hai बट उन गैसेस को अगर इन डीजल इंजन में काम में ले इन सम ड्यूएल फ्यूल वी आर यूजिंग देयर सीवियर नोकिंग विद दिस गैसेस फ्यूल्स विल बी सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डीजल एंड पेट्रोल इंजन दिस इज द डिफरेंस एंड मेजर डिफरेंस इज देयर कंबसन करेक्टिस देयर कंबसन करेक्टिस्टिक्स आर डिफरेंट दलरफिक वैल्यू पेट्रोल डीजल मोर और लेस कंपेरेबल पेट्रोल इंजन इट इज हायर डीजल स्लाइटली इट इज लोअर रिमेनिंग प्रॉपर्टीज आर सेम हीट कंटेंट्स आई एम सेंग सेम but remaining properties even viscosity even self ignition temperature even octane rating if i am saying um, even flash point fire point these characteristics are different of those of, of both these fuels ye aapka carnot cycle mein dikha raha hu carnot cycle ka purpose bhi heat ko work mein convert karna heat ko work mein convert karta hai carnot cycle and it is termed as most efficient cycle most efficient cycle these are air standard cycles in the case of carnot cycle working fluid is air air is working fluid there is no combustion inside the cylinder carnot engine ki jab baat karte hain koi combustion usme nahi ho raha koi fuel supply nahi ho raha hai just we are compressing the air after compression with external source we are adding the heat heat jo external source se heat source se apan air ke andar heat add karte hain so isme pehli jo line aa rahi hai aapki हीट इन जो दिखा रखा है 
it is piston is moving from TDC towards BDC it is moving and the, this, this, this red line which is being shown it shows that temperature inside the cylinder is constant कि टेम्परेचर सिलेंडर के अंदर कांस्टेंट है सिलेंडर में एयर भरी हुई है जिसको अपन ने कंप्रेस कर रखा था एंड टॉप ऑफ द सिलेंडर हेड इज ए गुड कंडक्टर थ्रू दैट वन आउटसाइड दी 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 सिलेंडर हेड वी आर कीपिंग वन हॉट बॉडी दैट हॉट बॉडी इज फ्लाइंग हीट टू एयर व्हेन इट इज एयर इज गेटिंग हीट पिस्टन स्टार्ट्स टू मूव इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन व्हेन पिस्टन विल बी मूविंग इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन इट विल इट द एयर विल बी एक्सपांडिंग ड्यू टू दैट वन टेंपरेचर ऑफ एयर शुड गो डाउन बट सेम टाइम विद एक्सटर्नल सोर्स वी आर एडिंग दीट तो पिस्टन के मूवमेंट की वजह से तो टेम्परेचर कम हो रहा है बट एक्सटर्नल सोर्स इज एडिंग दीट इन टू दर सो दिस पिंक लाइन विच इज बिंग शोन फ्रॉम टॉप टू मिडल ऑफ दैट वन इट इज हीट एडिशन एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर क्यों रहा कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर क्यों रहा उधर से तो हीट एड कर रहे थे अपन वो टेम्परेचर बढ़ा रहा था बट सेम टाइम पिस्टन वॉज गोइंग डाउन इट वॉज एक्सपांडिंग दर इट वॉज रिजल्टिंग इन टू डिक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर सो पिस्टन के मूवमेंट से टेम्परेचर डिक्रीज हो रहा है हीट एडिशन के वजह से टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज हो रहा है नेट इफेक्ट इज टू कीप द टेम्परेचर कॉन्स्टेंट सो हीट एडिशन अपने कार्नोड साइकिल में कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर पे और उसके बाद जो आपको वायलेट लाइन दिख रही है उस टाइम हीट सोर्स को अपन हटा लेते हैं एयर है गर्म हुई एयर है हीट सोर्स को अपन ने हटा लिया एंड रेपिडली पिस्टन वी आर मूविंग टूर्स दी बोटम डेट सेंटर की कोई हीट एक्सचेंज नहीं हो इट इज इट इज रिवर्सिबल एरिया बेटी की पिस्टन सिलेंडर के बीच में आपका इफ देर इज नो एक्सचेंज ऑफ हीट देर इज नो हीट जनरेशन ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन दोसेस इज टर्म एज रिवर्सिबल एरिया बेटी सो पूरा स्ट्रोक जो कम्प्लीट हुआ है वो दो भागों में कम्प्लीट हुआ है अपने हीट एड की कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर पे और बाद में जो एक्सपांशन किया है रिमेनिंग पार्ट में इट इज रिवर्सिबल एडियाबेटिक कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर पे हीट ऐड किया है एंड हीट सोर्स का टेम्परेचर एयर के टेम्परेचर में बहुत कम गैप था अगर हीट सोर्स आपका बहुत ज्यादा टेम्परेचर पे हो एंड इन साइड दिस सिलेंडर टेम्परेचर ऑफ एयर इज लोअर देर इज लॉट ऑफ इिवर्सिबिलिटी हम चाहते हैं कि कार्नोड साइकिल में कोई रिवर्सिबिलिटी कोई लॉस नहीं हो सो द टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट बिटवीन हीट सोर्स एंड एयर विच इज अवेलेबल इन साइड दिलेंडर इट इज मिनिमम डिफरेंस और एक्सपांशन भी आपका रिवर्सल यहां तक कोई लॉस नहीं हुआ कोई लॉस नहीं हुआ इसका मतलब जितनी हीट अपने सप्लाई की सारी की सारी आपकी वर्क आउटपुट में कन्वर्ट होनी चाहिए यू शुड गेट दिस 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 फंडामेंटल ऑफ दिस वन दैट वॉट एवर हीट वी आर सप्लाइंग इफ देर इज नो लॉस एवरीथिंग शुड बी कन्वर्टेड इन वर्क कन्वर्ट होनी चाहिए लेकिन अपने क्या कह रहे थे कि कन्वर्ट होने के लिए साइकिल कंप्लीट होनी चाहिए जहां से अपन शुरू हुआ था पिस्टन अपने को वापिस वहीं पहुंचना है We are reached to the BDC. Two processes has been completed. One constant temperature heat addition, and then expansion reversal adiabatic. Now, अपने को क्या करना पड़ रहा है? वापस अगर piston को ऊपर लेके जाना है. Piston ऊपर तभी जाएगा when temperature of air will be lesser. कि pressure कम हो. Then only piston can go up. Bottom side of the piston will be having atmospheric pressure. Inside the cylinder pressure is lower than atmospheric. Then piston can go up. वो lower तब हो सकता है जब जो air के पास heat है उसको बाहर reject कर दें अपन. Then only pressure inside the cylinder can come down, temperature can go down. तो ये जो फिर red line दिख रही है heat out वाली, ये अपने को heat intensely out करनी पड़ रही है to make the piston to move in upward direction, so that cycle should be completed. जैसे ही वो बीच में आ जाता है कहीं पे heat source जो heat बाहर जा रही थी अपन insulate कर देते हैं उसको and reversible adiabatic movement of piston up to the point from where it has been started. तो कितने चार processes हो गए आपके? Char process is heat addition was at constant temperature, then reversible adiabatic expansion, then heat rejection again at constant temperature. आपकी heat बाहर जा रही है, but piston is moving in upward direction. Due to movement of piston in upward direction, it is compressing the air, but same time it is rejecting the heat. So heat rejection की वजह से temperature कम हो रहा है, compression की वजह से बढ़ रहा है. Again temperature will remain constant during heat output. And finally reversible adiabatic compression. तो इस cycle की efficiency 100% क्यों नहीं हो सकती? इसमें कोई loss नहीं है, सिर्फ एक प्रोसेस जो हीट रिजेक्शन का अपन ने किया है ये हीट रिजेक्शन होने की वजह से आपकी कार्नोड साइकिल की एफिशिएंसी कभी भी 100 परसेंट नहीं हो सकती बिकॉज द हीट विच यू आर गिवन एज एन इनपुट फ्रॉम द हीट सोर्स पार्ट ऑफ दैट वन वी रिजेक्टेड इनटू द एटमोस्फेयर सो दैट साइकिल कैन बी कंप्लीटेड इफ यू आर मेकिंग दिस साइकिल टू बी कंप्लीटेड सम हीट वी आर रिजेक्टेड इनटू द एटमोस्फेयर इवन द कार्नोड साइकिल ऑल द प्रोसेसेस आर रिवर्सिबल एडिएबिटी प्रोसेस बट स्टिल इट्स एफिशिएंसी इज नॉट 100% 
अब इसके अंदर दिक्कत ये आ रही थी कि चारों बार स्पीड अलग अलग जब कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर है तो हीट को आने के लिए जो टाइम लग रहा है उसके लिए पिस्टन को स्लोली मूव करना है ताकि टेम्परेचर कॉन्स्टेंट रेस के बट जब अपन बन जाते हैं कोई हीट एक्सचेंज नहीं हो रिवर्सल रेडियोटिक देन मूवमेंट ऑफ द पिस्टन शुड बी वेरी रेपिड देन अगेन कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर हीट रिजेक्शन अगेन पिस्टन शुड मूव स्लोली एंड देन फाइनली रिवर्सल रेडियोटिक कंप्रेशन अगेन पिस्टन हैज टू मूव वेरी रेपिडली सो इन ए साइकिल फोर टाइम्स पिस्टन स्पीड इज चेंजिंग सो प्रैक्टिकली वी कॉन्ट यूज दिस इंजन So, इसका जो इंप्रूवमेंट किया था वो ऑटो ने किया था इस साइकिल को जो इंप्रूव किया 1890 में इट हैज बीन इंप्रूव बाय ऑटो एंड हीट एडिशन उसने क्या कहा था उसने हीट एडिशन कहा था कि मैं कांस्टेंट टेम्परेचर पे हीट नहीं ऐड करूंगा मैं तो कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम पे करूंगा जब पिस्टन ने कंप्रेस कर दी एयर को अगेन इन ऑटो साइकिल वर्किंग मीडियम इज एयर इट इज कार्नोट साइकिल ओनली ओनली डिफरेंस विच इज कमिंग दैट हीट एडिशन प्रोसेस विच वॉज देयर ही सेड आई वॉन्ट बी डूंग एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर मैं तो जैसे ही पिस्टन टीडीसी पे आया एयर को कंप्रेस कर रखा है इंस्टेंटेनियसली वॉट एवर अमाउंट ऑफ हीट हैज टू बी एडेड इंस्टेंटेनियसली आई बी एडिंग इन टू दैट वन सपोज हंड्रेड किलो जूल हीट हैज टू बी एडेड उसने कहा कि मैं तो एकदम से इसके अंदर एड करूंगा सो हीट एडिशन वॉज कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम ये एंड देन एक्सपांसन अगेन रिवर्स एडियाबेटिक एक्सपांसन हीट रिजेक्शन ऑल्सो इस एडेड कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम आई बी रिजेक्टिंग मैं टाइम इसमें खराब नहीं करूंगा हीट एडिशन में और हीट रिजेक्शन में जो टाइम लगता है वो भी एफिशियंसी को कम करता है In the case of auto cycle, heat addition and heat rejection is a constant volume. So Carnot cycle जितनी efficiency तो नहीं है, लेकिन remaining cycles में सबसे ज़्यादा अगर efficiency है, वो auto cycle की है, because heat addition और heat rejection में कोई time नहीं लग रहा है उसके अंदर। ये देखो आप ये। Again working medium was air, लेकिन heat addition उसने की, उसने TDC पे की, without consuming time, और heat rejection भी उसने constant volume पे की। जबकि diesel engine में क्या हुआ? Diesel ने क्या changes किए? डीजल ने कहा कि मैं कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम पे हीट ऐड नहीं करूंगा इट इज रिजल्टिंग इन टू वेरी हाई प्रेशर राइज यस रेट ऑफ प्रेशर राइज इज बिकमिंग वेरी हाई सो व्हाट यू सजेस्टेड पिस्टन विल बी मूविंग इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन सेम टाइम आई विल बी एडिंग हीट इन सच ए वे सो दैट ड्यूरिंग एक्सपांशन प्रेशर में रिमेन कांस्टेंट तो डीजल ने जो हीट ऐड किया था वो कांस्टेंट प्रेशर पे किया था रिजेक्शन वाज एट अगेन एट कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम बट हीट एडिशन वाज एट कांस्टेंट प्रेशर जो रेट ऑफ प्रेशर राइज ये दिख रही है अपने को बहुत ज्यादा यस so for reducing the rate of pressure rise he has added heat at constant pressure practical engine jo aajkal hamare chalte hain jo maine bataya aapko ki diesel engine mein delay period ke andar fuel ikattha ho jayega aur jaise hi combustion start hoga wo ekdam se energy release karega to wahan pe heat release kahe pe ho rahi hai kareeb kareeb constant volume pe ho rahi hai ekdam se release ho rahi hai na instantaneous so actual diesel engines are working more or less on auto cycle jo ikattha kiya hua fuel hai वो एकदम से हीट रिलीज करेगा मींस इट इज नॉट टेकिंग टाइम इन रिलीजिंग द हीट मोर और लेस एट कांस्टेंट वॉल्यूम इट इज एडिंग हीट सो प्रैक्टिकल जो डीजल इंजन है दे आर रीचिंग टुवर्ड्स दिस ऑटो साइकिल एंड इन द केस ऑफ ऑटो इंजन आई सेड स्पार्क वी आर इनिशिएटिंग सम केमिकल डिले इज देयर देन स्लोली फ्लेम इज प्रोपगेटिंग सो हीट एडिशन व्हिच वी आर डूइंग इज स्लोली हीट इज बीइंग एडेड सो एक्चुअल पेट्रोल इंजंस आर रीचिंग टुवर्ड्स डीजल इंजन जहां पे कांस्टेंट प्रेशर पे हीट है so actual um, um, petrol engine mein heat addition is becoming more or less at constant pressure whereas in the case of auto cycle uh, in the case of actual petrol engines heat is heat um, diesel engine heat addition is becoming more or less at constant volume so the cycles which has been devised by auto the cycles which has been devised by diesel actual engines which are working the diesel engines which supposed to work on diesel cycle it is working on auto cycle the petrol engine which is supposed to work on auto cycle actual petrol engine is working on diesel cycle like this one like this one this compression curve from and this this o point which is there the a which is there compression curve is from bdc to tdc at b it is reaching the the air which is being compressed and the, the x axis is the crankshaft rotation y axis is pressure so from a to b air is being compressed and instantaneously heat is being added in auto cycle in auto cycle from b to a heat addition is there and piston is at tdc and the heat is being added pressure is rising and after that expansion is taking place it is theoretical cycle auto cycle is theoretical cycle where heat addition is at constant volume at tdc means 180 degree crankshaft jahan pe hai ye there heat is continuously being added without consuming time will will stop here Uh, professor pabla ji is there for the purpose of break just i'll be i'll be concluding here whatever we have discussed two types of engine we have discussed one we said diesel engine 
another one is petrol engine. In the case of diesel, the separate air fuel entry into the cylinder, the, the instantaneous mixing is there, whereas the petrol engine which we are using in a plant way mixing was being done. Both the engines are having separate combustion characteristics, their fuels are different, and, and they are all the characteristics of related to combustion which are there, they are different. Our final always target is that engine running should be smooth, your exhaust emission should be lesser, your thermal efficiency, the, the important term which you are defined that is thermal efficiency, wherever we are saying efficiency, we are saying it is thermal efficiency, our efforts are to increase the thermal efficiency and our efforts are to increase the volumetric efficiency. If volumetric efficiency is increasing, in a cycle the amount of air which is entering into the cylinder fresh air which is resulting into the, the improvement in torque, higher the volumetric efficiency that we said unit air charge in a cycle it is improving the torque and per minute if amount of air which is entering into the cylinder if it is increasing, it is increasing the output, engine output, brake power, in, in, uh, output in terms of kilowatt it is increasing. Our targets are to increase the volumetric efficiency, unit air charge per minute charge which is entering into the cylinder that we want to increase and some at some times diesel engines are better, sometimes petrol engines are better and we will be discussing those parameters in, 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 in remaining time. So thank you, thank you very much. Any any question, uh, you people are able to listen, every center is able to listen, if some problems are there, please just please mention. Sir, there a, is a question sir, what are the reasons of irreversibility heat engines? What are the reasons for irreversibility in heat engines? I, I conveyed the, this Carnot cycle to, to you people, no? Yes, Carnot cycle. In the case of Carnot cycle, if heat addition is a constant temperature and if temperature gradient is negligible, then no irreversibility. If heat source is at a high temperature and the air which is receiving the heat, if temperature gradient is more, the heat when we are giving, the molecules which are receiving the heat from higher temperature their movement becomes very fast. When their movement becomes very fast, they are striking from each other, it is resulting into lot of losses of power. We want that the, the temperature gradient between the working fluid and heat source should be minimum so that the energy which molecules are getting, they should not move rapidly, they not should strike in, in, uh, instantaneously. If they are striking, they will be losing energy. So one reason for irre irreversibility is temperature gradient. Another reason is friction between the, the piston and cylinder. If friction is there, certainly the, the in, in internal heat generation will be there. Again, it is creating the irreversibility. If heat exchange is there to the surrounding, again it is irreversibility. So heat generation, heat exchange to the surrounding and heat addition, if temperature gradient is there for heat addition, it is resulting into irreversibility. So these are the three major reasons which is uh, making the cycle irreversible. Uh, CFD? In engine yes, actually uh, fluid dynamics is basically simulating the movement of air inside the cylinder, movement of fuel into the cylinder and our final target is mixing should be better. Mixing should be, uh, means diesel and petrol mixing should be very, very uniform and everywhere there is air is there, fuel particle should reach. Otherwise what happens in some of the areas, air remains, in some of the areas fuel remains some of the oxygen which is applied into the cylinder without taking combustion, it is coming through exhaust and some of the areas where lot of fuel is there, it is not getting sufficient oxygen for the purpose of combustion, partially unburned particles in the form of smoke they are coming out. So CFD is making simulation of movement of fuel and air inside the cylinder in such a way that in every corner the, the fuel and air is reaching and they are mixing from each other. So basically for the purpose of mixing CFD is very, very important. Sir, is there any software for measuring engine efficiency parameters? Uh, computer simulation, we, we have some uh, softwares we can develop now, softwares are available in fact, uh, particularly for heat release, particularly for, for analyzing the pressure theta diagram, P theta diagram, it is getting converted into PV diagram, the mean effective pressure is being calculated, it is calculating the indicated power and fuel supply which we are giving that fix we can fix, so on the basis of that one indicated efficiency can be calculated. And for getting friction losses, again empirical relations are there with the help of that one friction losses we can find out. So indicated power minus friction losses, it will be giving brake power. So with the help of software. So one is actually experiment we can done, uh, do another one with the help of softwares we can do simulation, we can compare that one. Sir, uh, 
knocking and detonation more or less it is same detonation what we are using if in a constant volume uh, chamber if you are doing the experiments where air movement is negligible only constant volume air velocity is negligible then the, the spontaneous combustion which is taking place it is termed as detonation in the case of engines normally the term which we are using it is knocking where there is a movement of air and volume is continuously varying because piston is moving inside the cylinder the, the volume of, of air inside the cylinder it is varying so the term which we are using we are using knocking not detonation detonation is mainly inside a constant volume and where movement of air is negligible are there any engines working on dual cycle if yes how do they practically work uh, dual cycle your diesel uh, cycle is actually dual cycle your diesel engine is dual cycle where partly heat is being added at constant volume the delay period may fuel ikatha ho gaya hai jo heat release kar raha hai it is at constant volume and remaining fuel after start of combustion still if fuel still fuel is getting injected when piston started to move in downward direction that burning is more or less at constant pressure so your actual diesel engines are working on dual cycle where partly heat addition is at constant volume due to knocking partly heat addition is at constant pressure the rate at which fuel is entering into the cylinder at the same rate burning is going on so heat addition is in two part mm, practically if i am saying around 30% heat is being added at constant volume 70% at constant pressure not 70% around 50% remaining is when expansion stroke where pressure is varying so this varies 30 50 20 like that one 30 constant volume 50 constant pressure 20 when expansion after burning which you are saying in the case of diesel engine if is clearance volume if you are decreasing your compression ratio is increasing your compression ratio is increasing in the case of diesel engine i said we we, we are trying to reduce the compression ratio because sl uh, smaller the clearance volume higher the pressure after compression and if higher the pressure after compression starting of um, the cranking of engine becomes very difficult pressure agar uh, compression ka jyada hoga to cranking karna it will be very difficult and if clearance volume is lower even uh, the, the, the leakage of the, the, the gases through the um, piston rings it will be much more so effort should be to, to reduce the clearance volume in the case of petrol engine reduce but in the case of diesel engine not much not much but how physical delay can be countered physical delay is basically your, your I said Automation, uh, automization, uh, your vaporization, your mixing. This ko apne ko kam karna hai, zero karna hai. So hypothetically, I am saying if physical delay is zero, zero means your viscosity of fuel is very less and its, its automation is very rapid. Aapka thick fuel hoga. Jaise biodiesels mein aajkal jo dikkat aari hai, biodiesels are very thick. Their viscosity is very high. So even uh, automation of those fuels are very difficult. And in small small droplets, breaking those those fuel particles into small small droplets, it's very difficult. So if viscosity is lesser, if fuel is thinner, its vaporization temperature is lower. For the purpose of vaporization, if negligible heat is needed, then vaporization will be easier. So automation is easier, vaporization is easier, and if density is less, then mixing will also be better. If swirl movement of air is significant, significant swirl is there. So even rapidly mixing will be there. So all these three three parameters which are affecting the physical delay, if those can be improved, your physical delay will become zero. Even theoretically, we can say if CTA number is 100%, your chemical delay is also zero. Hypothetical situation which where 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 um, uh, diesel was saying that if, if delay period is zero, then your heat addition will be at constant pressure. Just rate se fuel aayega, waise waise burn hota jayega. No rate of pressure is significant. This rate se aaya, burn hota gaya, your constant pressure will be maintained inside the cylinder. Aapka constant volume combustion tabhi hota hai, jab physical delay is longer, chemical delay is longer. If it is zero, CTA number is 100%, um, this delay is zero, your heat addition will be at constant pressure. Sub se smooth chalne wala engine wo hoga, jiska chemical or physical delay zero ho. Why we want to make the size of works different in case of petrol engine? Petrol engine, I said no. In the case of petrol engine, we are starting combustion from spark plug. We are starting combustion from spark plug and spark plug should be the hottest place from where flame is propagating. Yes, more or less the spark plug which we are providing, it is not in the center. Spark plug we are providing towards the 
exhaust wall side. It's very near to exhaust wall, not to the inlet wall side. We want that flame propagation should start from spark, means very near to, to exhaust wall, and it should move towards the inlet wall side. If it is moving from inlet wall to exhaust wall, and flame is propagating, suppose 30% distance it has covered, and 70% still is remained inside the cylinder, that unburnt fuel is available. Where combustion is going on, its temperature will be higher. Where combustion is going on, pressure will be higher. That high temperature, high pressure waves, it, it will be transferring heat to the unburnt mixture. It is increasing the temperature of that one. And if exhaust wall is also in that region where unburnt mixture is there, that will also adding heat into that unburnt mixture. It will increase the temperature of unburnt mixture and chances of auto ignition will be very high. हम चाहते हैं कि फ्लेम ही सारे मिक्सर को कवर करे लेकिन अगर एग्जोस्ट वाल बड़ा हुआ आपका और इनलेट वाल की साइड से अपन ने कंबसन शुरू किया तो फाइनली जो एग्जोस्ट वाल जो गर्म है वो अनबर्ड मिक्सर को भी गर्म करता जा रहा है एंड वन सिचुएशन में कम दैट फ्लेम एज नॉट रीच टू द एंड पॉइंट बिफोर दैट वन जो एग्जोस्ट वाल की एनर्जी है जो हीट है वो उस अनबर्ड मिक्सर को एकदम से जला देगा दैट विल बी रिजल्टिंग इन टू नोकिंग so we want that spark plug should be located very near to the exhaust wall so that flame should start from that side your inlet wall is the coolest component in the in the engine hum chahte hain flame hot wall se chal ke aur cold side mein jaye so that auto ignition it can prevent and size of exhaust wall we want to reduce so that the heat source it is uh, heat capacity in fact m into cp is heat capacity mcpt so if mass is less so heat stored by that exhaust wall will lesser so it will be reducing the knocking in diesel engine no knocking is of different type no uh, auto ignition problem is there in the case of diesel engine in diesel engine we are injecting the fuel and the knocking which is taking place it is initial phase of combustion very near to injector the mixture which is available it is getting auto ignited it is not near to exhaust wall or inlet wall so size of inlet and exhaust wall is not important in the case of diesel engine sir, in diesel engine size of walls are not seen uh, inlet wall is larger than uh, uh, exhaust wall that that may be for the purpose of, of of this scavenging purposes not for the purpose of this combustion because in the case of again diesel engine our target to increase the volumetric efficiency hum chahte hain ki bada agar inlet wall mil jaye kisi tarah se apne ko so more air can come but the size which is available even even the cylinder at size suppose 80 80 80 mm diameter is there out of 80 mm diameter will have to accommodate two walls will have to accommodate injector also yes so space is again a limitation if larger size inlet wall we are keeping for increasing the volumetric efficiency then injector will have to have so size of the wall which will have to accommodate that that space which will be available it will be lesser so chota aapko jo hai wall us case mein rakhna padega where volumetric efficiency is the major criteria how can we find the octane and octane number of octane and cetane number we are finding out on variable compression ratio engine vcr engines we are having where compression ratio can be varied in the case of petrol engine here we are comparing with knock intensity uh, for finding out octane number knock intensity or um, uh, pressure variation or noise inside the cylinder is being measured what we are doing we are we are operating the petrol engine one with fuel of which we want to find out the octane number us fuel se chalate hain ek bar at some particular compression ratio octane rate uh, rating ke liye compression ratio fix kar diya jata hai octane rating ke liye inlet jo jo cooling water ka temperature fix kar diya jata hai rpm of engine has been fixed at that particular point of time we are supplying the a and the, the air plus petrol of which we want to find out the octane number us time jo noise engine mein create hoti hai that we are measuring वो मेजर करने के बाद वो पेट्रोल बंद कर देते हैं अपन सप्लाई करना इन प्लेस ऑफ दैट पेट्रोल वी आर सप्लाइंग मिक्सचर ऑफ एन हेप्टेन एंड आइस ऑक्टेन आइस ऑक्टेन इज हैविंग ऑक्टेन रेटिंग 100 एन हेप्टेन इज हैविंग ऑक्टेन रेटिंग 0 सो दैट मिक्सचर वी आर सप्लाइंग एंड बाय ट्रायल एंड एरर वी आर चेंजिंग दैट मिक्सचर एंड वी आर रीचिंग अप टू दैट लेवल वेयर सेम नॉइस व्हिच वाज बीइंग क्रिएटेड बाय द द सैंपल फ्यूल ऑफ व्हिच वी वांट टू फाइंड आउट द ऑक्टेन रेटिंग ट्रायल एंड एरर से अपन ये रेशियो चेंज करते जाते हैं उस टाइम तक जब तक उतनी आवाज इंजन करना शुरू नहीं कर दे उस टाइम जो आइसोक्टेन और एन एफ्टेन का जो मिक्सर अंदर जा रहा था उनकी परसेंटेज मेजर करते हैं सपोज 80 परसेंट आइसोक्टेन इज देयर 20 परसेंट एन एफ्टेन इज देयर दूल विच वी आर स्प्लाइंग इट्स ऑक्टेन रेटिंग इज एटी मतलब वो 
मिक्सर उतनी ही नॉइज पैदा करना चाहिए विद सेम ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन विच दियर विच ऑफ विच वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट दी ऑक्टेन नंबर at the start of diesel engine for reducing the compression ratio uh, we can add we can add uh, this jo uh, jo uh, gaskets hai size of gaskets which we are using between cylinder head and cylinder block if more more gaskets or thicker gaskets if you can provide your clearance volume can increase so how can we differentiate that when the engine running at overload underloaded and overloaded uh, that with the help of dynamometer otherwise it's difficult and uh, then exhaust particularly in the case of diesel engine as overloading is there the exhaust which is coming out it is blackish ek term kaam mein lete hain apan smoke jisko smoke kehte hain apan smoke is a color of exhaust if it is black which is uh, means exhaust which is coming out if it is black it is overloaded if it is white engine is cold if it is blue some some uh, lubricating oil is burning and if color more or less colorless it is being operated at part load if black is there amount of diesel which are injecting it is more proper mixing of air and, uh, uh, and diesel is not taking place because large quantity of diesel is needed at higher load so a proper mixing is not there lot of partially burnt carbon particles are coming out in the form of black smoke in the case of diesel engine smoke is a serious issue नो क्वेश्चन हाँ बताओ कंप्रेशन बताओ बताओ हाँ यस उसकी ये कह रहे जो इंजन है बना हुआ है अपने बोर वगैरह वो तो बाद की बातें हैं इंजन है उसका अभी अपने खड़े हुए इंजन का कंप्रेशन रेशो चेंज करना चाहते हैं जस्ट फील वेरी दी गैस के ना Uh, another important term is coming air fuel ratio in the case of petrol engine i am saying homogeneous air fix, uh, uh, mixture we are supplying air fuel mixture we are supplying and in air fuel ratio important term is flammability limits meaning of flammability limits are if mixture is very rich or mixture is very lean whatever the source of ignition may be combustion won't be initiated suppose 1 to 1 1 kg petrol if you are having 1 kg air we are having we are making the mixture whatever the source of ignition may be combustion won't be minimum air fuel ratio which you like to have for the uh, purpose of uh, this petrol it should be 8 8 se kam agar deficiency hogi oxygen ki aapki 8 kg air 1 kg, uh, kg fuel uh, ke ratio se if it will be lower than that there won't be any combustion another side if you are going after 20 after 20 if 20 kg air is there 1 kg fuel is there mixture will be very lean very lean after that one if you are having um, the the, the um, leanness if you are maintaining again i am saying whatever the source of ignition may be combustion won't be initiated so your flammability limits normally in the case of petrol engine it is varying from 8 to 20 8 to 20 air fuel ratio where combustion can be started combustion can take place and in the case of petrol engine the optimum air fuel ratio which we are having it is 15 it is chemically correct if 15 kg air is there 1 kg uh, fuel is there it is chemically correct fuel uh, uh, mixture and the term which we are defining fuel air ratio it is equal to 5 if 5 is 1 if 5 is 1 air fuel ratio is around 15 or in terms of fuel air ratio if i am saying 1 by 15 1 by 15 is roughly 0.068 like that one so 0.068 fuel air ratio if you are having then your phi is equal to 1 phi equal to 1 is chemically correct if phi is less than 1 it is lean if phi is say 0.8 0.7 0.6 less than 1 phi is lean If phi is more than one, it is rich. Say so phi is 1.1, it means it is 10% richer than stoichiometric. 10% richer than stoichiometric. If 15 is stoichiometric, 10% richer than uh, 15 is around 13.5. 13.5 air fuel ratio. If phi is 1.1, we are saying. 
so normally terms which we are using either we are using phi or we are we are using lambda lambda is 1 over phi in terms of air fuel ratio if you are comparing it is lambda in terms of fuel air ratio if you are comparing with stoichiometric then it is phi and even dr khatri yesterday day for yesterday he may be discussing about lambda sensor also lambda it is sensing oxygen availability in the exhaust it is related to your fuel air ratio it is related to air fuel ratio yes so that lambda sensor is sensing your oxygen contents we want that in exhaust there should not be any oxygen in exhaust we want there should be water vapors there should be co2 there should be nitrogen if these are the constituents then combustion is complete if there is oxygen it means the oxygen which is applied to the cylinder it has not been utilized if there is co it means availability of oxygen in the combustion chamber was less that's why co formation is there if deficiency of oxygen is there there will be co formation if oxygen is coming out through exhaust it means whatever air we have supplied for the purpose of combustion that has not been utilized so lambda sensor jo hai is cheez ko sense karta hai ki exhaust mein oxygen hai ya nahi hai agar oxygen hai to iska matlab wo aap se reach karne ki koshish karta hai oxygen ki quantity ko jo hai reduce karta hai in the case of diesel engine in the case of diesel engine because mixture is heterogeneous not homogeneity is being maintained in one particular region we are injecting and in that region combustion is getting started so wherever the mixture becomes um, in the range of 8 to 20 combustion will be started but all the times all the times diesel engine is working in lean region always it is lean always air fuel ratio is more than 20 diesel engine hamesha aapka jo hai एक्सेसिव ऑक्सीजन के साथ काम करता है इट इज मोर और लेस आइडलिंग आइडलिंग वन आई एम सेइंग, मीनिंग ऑफ आइडलिंग इज व्हेन वी आर वेटिंग ऑन द रेड लाइट इंजन इज इन स्टार्ट कंडीशन वी आर इंजेक्टिंग द फ्यूल नो पावर आउटपुट वी हैव वी वी आर टेकिंग व्हीकल इज नॉट मूविंग एक्सीटर पोजिशन इज जीरो थ्रोटल पोजिशन इज जीरो एंड इंजन इज इन जस्ट स्टार्ट कंडीशन दैट पोजिशन इज आइडलिंग कंडीशन so in the case of diesel engine in idling air fuel ratio is around 80 whereas in the case of petrol engine when idling situation is there when petrol vehicle is standing on the red light that time air fuel ratio is around 12.5 13 means very rich mixture we are supplying when idling situation is there in petrol engine but in the case of diesel engine when we are waiting on the red light air fuel mixture is very lean excessive oxygen is available तो डीजल इंजन आइडलिंग में बहुत कम पोल्यूशन करता है क्योंकि ज्यादा ऑक्सीजन है उसके पास बट इन केस ऑफ पेट्रोल इंजन बिकॉज मिक्सर इज क्वाइट रिच दी एक्सोस एमिशन पर्टिकुलरली अनबल्ट हाइड्रोकार्बन आर क्वाइट हाई तो आइडलिंग के टाइम अगर आधे मिनट से भी ज्यादा टाइम हो पर्टिकुलरली पेट्रोल इंजन का कह रहा हूं मैं आपको प्लीज स्विच ऑफ योर इंजन वन लोट ऑफ फ्यूल इज बींग कंज्यूम बिकॉज मिक्सर इज क्वाइट रिच अनदर वन वी आर हार्मिंग द एनवायरमेंट टू ए वेरी हाई एक्सटेंट काफी बार आप ऑब्जर्व करना जो डीजल के ऑटो हैं वो काफी देर तक स्टार्ट कंडीशन में खड़े रहते हैं दे आर नॉट वरीड एट ऑल बट पेट्रोल के ऑटो को इमीडिएटली वो बंद करता है रीजन फॉर दैट वन इज एट द टाइम ऑफ आइडलिंग द कंजप्शन ऑफ डीजल इज वेरी लो बिकॉज मिक्सचर आर वेरी लीन एटी आई एम से एटी टू वन एटी के जी एयर वन के जी फ्यूल वेर एज सेम ऑटो एन इट इज वर्किंग इन पेट्रोल मोड इट्स एयर फ्यूल रेशियो इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव मीन ट्वेल्व के जी एयर वन के जी फ्यूल तो लोटो फ्यूल इज बी Consume for that purpose. So, in the case of diesel vehicles, in idling, we people are not worried. But in the case of petrol engines, we are severely worried. So, air fuel ratio normally in the case of SI engines, it is varying from 10 to 20. 20 is when we are moving, when we are moving on the highways, lean mixture we can supply. It, it is not exactly 20. It may be 16.5, 17 like that one, and 10. Uh, starting uh, means when when choke condition is there, that time it is very rich. Otherwise, 10, 11, 12, uh, cruising range which we are having 15, 16, 16.5 up to 17 air fuel ratio in petrol engine is possible. Diesel starting point itself is 18. Minimum air fuel ratio it is not exactly 18. I am saying 20. Starting point is 20 and it can vary up to 80. So diesel engine ke under exhaust emissions come honge. Uska reason hi hai ki always excessive oxygen is there. but in the case of petrol engine limited oxygen is there that's why petrol engines are polluting atmosphere more as compared to diesel engines this is the range flammability limits maine batayi hai aapko jo hai too rich agar 9 se aur idhar side mein aa jata it is too rich 
तीस से आगे वहां पे चला जाता है इट बिकम्स टू लेन कम्बसन इज बिकमिंग जस्ट इम्पोसिबल सो आपकी फ्लेमिलिटी लिमिट्स जो है वो करीब नौ से बीस के बीच के अंदर आपकी फ्लेमिलिटी लिमिट्स है जहां पे कम्बसन हो सकता है पेट्रोल का ये आपको मैंने प्रीमिक्स और ये बताया था डीजल इंजन डीजल इंजन आर द टू टाइप ऑफ गवर्निंग आते हैं फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द स्पीड वन इज टर्म्ड एज क्वांटिटी गवर्निंग अनदर वन इज क्वालिटी गवर्निंग इन द केस ऑफ डीजल इंजन द अमाउंट ऑफ एयर विच यू आर स्प्लाइंग इन टू दिलेंडर देर इज नो थ्रोटल वॉट एवर द स्पीड ऑफ इंजन मे बी वॉट एवर द इंजन आरपीएम मे बी अमाउंट ऑफ एयर which is entering into the cylinder that is constant according to the load we are varying the quantity of fuel and which is being varied by the pump engine pump is varying the quantity of fuel so air fuel ratio is varying in the case of diesel engine i am saying from 20 to 80 it is varying so diesel engines are diesel engines are quality governed quality means quality of mixture is varying it is varying from 20 to 80 so Quality is being governed. आपको 20 रखना है, 30 रखना है, 60 रखना है, 80 रखना है. That is being done by pump. So these engines are termed as quality governed engines. Whereas in petrol engines, whatever the speed may be, whatever the load may be, the assignment which we are giving to the carburetor, we are saying you operate at stoichiometric. Stoichiometric means 15. Whatever the load condition may be, your air fuel ratio should be around 15. With the help of throttle, what we are doing? we are we are varying the quantity of air and fuel mixture which is going into the cylinder we are not varying the the the, the air fuel ratio air fuel ratio has to be constant so quantity of air and fuel mixture which is entering into the cylinder that is being controlled so petrol engines are termed as quantity governed diesel engines are termed as quality governed means air fuel ratio is being varied and in the case of petrol engine quantity of mixture is being varied quantity of air in the case of diesel engine is constant so it is not quantity governed here it is quality governed air fuel ratio is being governed in the case of petrol engine we are controlling the uh, quantity of air fuel mixture which is being controlled just one one small uh, videos i'll be showing you uh, small videos i'll be showing you uh, about the ignition system in, in in petrol engine how ignition is taking place how what is the role of spark plug what is the role of condenser what is the uh, role of battery and what is the role of distributor just i'll be indicating that one i mean your, your sound is available Thank <laughs> you. 
case of ignition system the components which we are having we are having a battery which is giving either 6 volts or 12 volts but for initiating this spark initiating the spark across the electrodes the voltage which we need it is around 1 lakh volts so battery volt that is DC volt uh, volts which we are having that 12 volts will have to enhance up to 1 lakh volts for the purpose of initiation of spark. It is it is having the, the spark plug is having two electrodes which it was showing that spark in between electrodes it was showing and in between those two electrodes we are having air fuel mixture. We have compressed the, the, the air fuel mixture that mixture is between electrodes also. So for the purpose of initiation of spark in between we are having air. Air is a very bad conductor of electricity so first of all if you want to initiate the spark the ionization of air has to be if ionization will be there then only can current can flow across those electrodes so initially initially when 12 volts is coming it is passing through a circuit your contact breaker is in closed position if it is in closed position the through that circuit electricity will be passing and it is grounded so no spark will be produced. In primary circuit there is a contact breaker. If contact breaker breaks, if contact breaker breaks, when, when, when cam was rotating, you, you have seen here, one cam of four lobes because four cylinders are there, four lobes are there. When that um, lobe is breaking the contact, it means in primary circuit current becomes zero. Just break over after circuit, in primary circuit current becomes zero. If current becomes zero, then rate of change of current in primary circuit, it, it is di by dt. Suppose initially some 4 amperes current was flowing and now when contact breaker it has broken the circuit, it has become 0. Current which was flowing it has become 0. So di has become 4. So di by dt it will be having some rate of change of current in the primary circuit. When there will be rate of change of in, uh, current in primary circuit, immediately according to the number of turns in secondary coil, the voltage, high voltage will be induced. Kab induce hoga? The primary circuit contact breaker ki help se break hoga. When it will be broken, then there will be rate of change of current in the primary circuit. And when there will be rate of change of current in primary circuit in secondary coil, which is having number of tons, very high number of tons. So according to number of tons, very high voltage will be induced in the secondary coil. And that secondary coil, is, uh, is through distributor it is connected to spark plug of one cylinder okay so that very high voltage will be going to spark plug and I am saying for the purpose of initiation of spark because air is there it is having very high resistance towards the electricity so ionization is required 
once ionization is there the spark is not for for just negligible time it is for a finite time spark is continuing for finite time so initial requirement will be very high voltage once air has been ionized your your spark will be continuing spark will be continuing even voltage may go down till your spark so your contact breaker is in open position contact breaker is also open for finite time so till contact breaker is in open position the high voltage is passing through uh, passing through the, the secondary coil to spark plug and spark will be continued even uh, the, the energy level once once spark has gone to spark plug initially i said requirement will be very high but once air has been ionized even lower voltage will be able to continue the spark whatever energy has been transmitted from primary to secondary coil that energy initially it will be very high then decay will start even voltage at at spark plug will be going down even it may come up to 5000 volts when it becomes very low volts at 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 at, at spark plug and your contact breaker is in open position at that lower voltage spark won't be able to continue wahan pe spark jaise hi aapka spark plug mein spark band hota hai so secondary coil mein current aapka zero ho jata hai otherwise it was grounded means through spark plug it was grounded secondary coil circuit was completed पर जैसे ही कम वोल्टेज होने से स्पार्क प्लग में स्पार्क बंद होता है इन सेकेंडरी देर विल बी रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ करेंट वेन देर विल बी रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ करेंट इन सेकेंडरी दैट विल ट्राई टू इंड्यूस बैक ई एम एफ इन टू दाइमरी कोयल एंड इन प्राइमरी कोयल इज कनेक्टेड थ्रू कॉन्टेक्ट ब्रेकर तो अगर प्राइमरी में हाई वोल्टेज इंड्यूस होगा अकॉर्डिंग टू द नंबर ऑफ टर्न स्विच इज इन दाइमरी तो वो आपकी हाई वोल्टेज कॉन्टेक्ट ब्रेकर के अक्रोस कॉन्टेक्ट ब्रेकर अभी भी खुला है इट विल ट्राई टू जम्प अक्रोस दी कॉन्टेक्ट ब्रेकर तो कॉन्टेक्ट ब्रेकर की लाइफ कम कर देता है टू अवॉइड दैट वन वी आर पुटिंग ए कंडेंसर इन द सर्किट प्राइमरी सर्किट के अंदर एक कंडेंसर लगाते हैं वो क्या करता है कि जैसे ही सेकेंडरी में रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ करंट होता है तो वो उसको स्टोर कर लेता है एनर्जी को एंड दैट स्टोर्ड एनर्जी जैसे ही वो कॉन्टेक्ट वापिस क्लोज होता है नेक्स्ट साइकिल के लिए दैट एनर्जी विल बी यूटिलाइज इन द प्राइमरी सर्किट फॉर बिल्डिंग अप दी वोल्टेज आजकल आप लोगों ने नाम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इग्निशन सिस्टम का भी सुना होगा इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इग्निशन सिस्टम वट दे आर डूइंग Uh, just like uh, just to avoid the spark across the contact breaker they are putting one transistor in the system transistor is a one way valve ye ek side mein hi voltage ko jaane ke liye allow karta hai primary se secondary mein but from secondary to primary when it is being induced in reverse direction across the contact breaker it won't permit to aapke contact breaker ke across jo spark nahi hoga and life of contact breaker is increasing and according to firing order the spark is being produced say 1 3 4 2 pehle ek mein hoga fir teen mein hoga fir four mein hoga fir two mein hoga and 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 the advertisements which are being given that cost of this vehicle is much more because it is having electronic ignition system it is bit misleading when we are making this electronic ignition system the components which you are adding very cheap components your transistor may be costing some 10 rupees your diode which you are putting say 1 rupee cost so those components we are putting and we are making electronic ignition system so electronic ignition system is basically increasing the life of the contact breaker and build up voltage because most of the engines these days which are working they are working at a very high speed so in primary circuit immediately voltage has to be built up for the next cycle so in building up this electronic ignition system is helping so that is electronic ignition system this already we have uh, explained and the two curves you can observe from here one is continuous line another one is dotted line these two lines are different it is i am showing for uh, spark ignition engine these two lines are different the difference between these two is dotted line is just compression of air or compression of air fuel mixture in petrol engine no spark we are giving and just we are expanding that mixture without combustion suppose air fuel mixture we are taken into the cylinder we have compressed that one but no spark we are initiating just again we are expanding back and finally it is going to exhaust and then the pressure variation inside the cylinder if you are observing if you are measuring the pressure variation so a dotted line ye dikhati hai apne ko first ye firm line hai uske baad tdc ke baad aane ke baad ye dotted line aage expand hoti hai this curve is termed as motoring curve this is termed as motoring curve niche wala jo curve hai it is motoring curve kuch kuch line kuch b tak to ye same hi hai starting from that side some some 90 degree before tdc to tdc the curve is same after that one just we are expanding that air fuel mixture this is motoring curve means without combustion if expansion of air fuel mixture is taking place it is motoring curve 
in contrary to this one if you are producing a spark at point a if you are producing the spark and that spark we are producing before top dead center hum jo spark produce karte hain wo tdc se pehle karte hain and actual combustion is getting started at b at a we are started still crankshaft is rotating piston is moving in upward direction toward tdc but combustion has not been started agar combustion start ho jata to motoring curve se wo curve deviate ho jata pressure variations wo hi aa rahe hain jo compression ki wajah se aa rahe hain na ki combustion ki wajah se aa rahe hain at point b your ignition lag period will be completed jo chemical reactions thi na a pe apne spark kiya then some chemical reactions has been initiated and at point b your actual combustion has been started so from b to c flame will be propagating flame will be propagating inside the cylinder so b to c aapka main combustion period hai and a to b is ignition lag so first phase of combustion is ignition lag from b to c is from flame propagation jis jagah pe apna peak pressure aa jata hai cycle ka jis jagah pe peak pressure aa jata hai usko maan lete hain apan ki kareeb 90% burning ho gayi hai आपका फ्लेम प्रोपोगेशन कंप्लीट हो गया है जो टोटल फ्यूल अपने सप्लाई किया था एट एट सी वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट 90 परसेंट फ्यूल हैज बीन बर्न द फ्लेम प्रोपोगेशन हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड देन आफ्टर दैट सी टू डी पिस्टनेस फ्रॉम टी डी सी इज गोइंग डाउन अप टू सी प्रेशर वाज इंक्रीजिंग इवन पिस्टनेस स्टार्टेड मूविंग डाउन डायरेक्शन प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग ड्यू टू कंबसन इट इज इंक्रीजिंग आफ्टर दैट ऑन सी टू डी यूर यूर pressure has also started to decrease but still some combustion is taking place whatever is left inside the cylinder kahin pe bhi quench area mein side mein jo bhi mixture bach gaya hai apna cylinder walls ke aas pass that is continuously burning that is termed as after burning hum log hamesha ye chahte hain ye combustion ki stages batai na aapne first maine bataya a to b ignition lag b to c flame propagation up to 90% mixture will be burning and c to d is after burning very limited mixture which is available into the cylinder that is burning अब आपका ए पे आपने स्पार्क किया था कंबसन आपका डी पे खत्म हुआ ए टू डी अगर नंबर ऑफ डिग्रीज देखो क्रैंकशाफ्ट की करीब माइनस ट्वेंटी से शुरू हुआ था एंड इट इज कंप्लीटिंग समवेयर अराउंड फोर्टी तो कंबसन ड्यूरेशन आपका करीब साठ डिग्री का क्रैंकशाफ्ट के रोटेशन के टाइम हो गया माइनस बीस पे जब टीडीसी पे जा रही थी पिस्टन तब शुरू हुआ था कंबसन स्पार्क वे प्रोड्यूस बट एंड ऑफ कंबसन इज आफ्टर टीडीसी सो इट हैज टेकन टाइम बट इन देश ऑफ ऑटोसाइकिल वॉट वी वर से in the case of auto cycle we were saying heat addition is at constant volume but here volume is not constant in actual engine in actual petrol engine when we are discussing the combustion it is not constant volume your volume is varying your piston is moving but still combustion is going on for getting maximum efficiency for getting maximum efficiency we want that combustion should be at constant volume tab aapko efficiency sabse zyada milegi par agar constant volume pe ye combustion ho jata means sara fuel ek sath hi burn ho jata so rate of pressurize inside the cylinder would have been very large and there would have been severe knocking to jitna lamba aapka duration hoga combustion ka aapki knocking kam ho jayegi but peak pressures will be lower if instantaneous combustion is there peak pressure will be very high if slowly uh, combustion is taking place your peak pressures are lower if peak pressures are lower your thermal efficiency of the engine will be lower agar knocking karenge aap to noise to hogi lekin efficiency badh jayegi अगर नोकिंग नहीं हो रही है रेट ऑफ प्रेशर ज्यादा नहीं हो रहा है तो आपका स्मूथ रनिंग तो इंजन की है बट योर एफिशिएंसी इज गोइंग डाउन द स्पार्क टाइमिंग एट ए किस जगह पे अपन स्पार्क करें अपन टीडीसी से कितना पहले स्पार्क करें इट विल बी डिसाइडेड दैट वेयर वी वांट सी आपका पीक प्रेशर कहां पर आए पीक प्रेशर अपन चाहते हैं कि टीडीसी से करीब सात से आठ डिग्री बाद में आना चाहिए फॉर ऑप्टिम इंजन ऑपरेशन we want that peak pressure which is coming inside the cylinder it should come after tdc jab aapka piston niche aana shuru ho gaya hai uske 7 8 degree baad mein aana chahiye those timings are being specified by the manufacturer manufacturer jo apna manual deta hai uske andar ek timing define karta hai ki spark timing of this particular engine is this one and wo idling ke liye karta hai jab apan kai bar mechanic ke paas jate hain uske paas ek torch bhi hoti hai एक लाइट डालता है वो इंजन पे वो लाइट से ये पता करता है कि किस एंगल पे स्पार्क हो रहा है आइडलिंग पे जस्ट वो व्हीकल तो चल नहीं रहा इंजन स्टार्ट कंडीशन में होता है दैट टाइम इज मेजरिंग दी टाइमिंग्स दीज टाइमिंग्स आर विच आर गिविंग पीक प्रेशर स्लाइटली आफ्टर टॉप डेड सेंटर सेवन टू एट डिग्री टॉप डेड सेंटर दीज टाइमिंग आर टर्म एज एम टाइमिंग एम मिनिमम एडवांस फॉर बेस्ट टोक 
these timings are minimum advance for best torque the 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 peak pressure which we are getting if it is coming slightly after torque dead center the torque which will be getting from the engine that will be maximum that will be maximum in contrary to this one if a is shifted towards left hand side a ko mai left hand side mein is uh, is side mein leke jaau left hand side mein away from tdc if i am doing it means i am advancing the spark spark advance means if a is shifted towards left hand side if a is shifted towards tdc side right hand side it is termed as retarding of spark timing advancing and retarding we are saying i think you people are getting this one this a to b timing a to b timing is variable it is not constant it depends upon engine speed higher the engine speed higher the engine speed your ignition lag period we are measuring either in terms of theta or in terms of time absolute time ek ki approach ho sakti hai ki maine spark kiya aur main gadi leke baith jaau ki spark karne ke baad actually combustion kab shuru ho sakta hai millisecond mein time measure karu main one approach mein bhi another approach mein bhi i am measuring the theta that how many degrees crank shaft has been rotated from the point of start of um, spark to point where combustion has been initiated so in terms of theta i can measure and in terms of time i can measure in the case of petrol engine when we are operating engine at say 2000 rpm in one case another case we are operating at 4000 rpm the b to c total combustion duration is starting from a more or less it is ending at c your b to c time in terms of millisecond b to c in terms of millisecond it remains constant whatever the speed may be in terms of millisecond it remains constant but the chemical reactions which are there a to b in terms of milliseconds it won't remain same same means main kahu ki b to c aapka agar crank shaft 40 degree rotate kar rahi hai 2000 rpm pe aur 1 millisecond time lag raha hai now speed of the crank shaft has become say 4000 in place of 2000 the 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 time in terms of millisecond in place of 1 millisecond now it will become half jo aapka b to c time hai jaise jaise speed badhti jayegi flow and propagation speeds becomes faster because lot of turbulence inside the cylinder will be and flame will be moving rapidly so in terms of millisecond if rpm is increasing from 2000 to 4000 in terms of millisecond earlier at 2000 millisecond time from b to c was suppose 1 millisecond now rpm has become 4000 now from b to c in terms of millisecond time will become half millisecond to so, crank shaft ke rotation us time mein kitne ho jayenge jab 2000 pe rotate kar raha tha crank shaft ke rotation maan lo 40 ho rahe the now speed has become doubled 4000 so in millisecond now it won't be rotating 40 degree it will be rotating in 1 millisecond 80 degrees lekin ab kya ho gaya ki in terms of time jo hai wo aadha ho gaya hai so still whatever the speed may be in terms of crank shaft rotation it will remain same ek se jab aadha ho gaya to aapke crank shaft ke angles bhi jo hai double hua tha wo aadha ho jayega matlab 80 hona chahiye tha 1 millisecond mein millisecond has gone down to half so it has become 40 so yahan to 40 rahega aapka lekin a to b time jo hai chemical reaction ka time jo hai in terms of millisecond more or less it remain same whatever the speed wahan to half ho gayi b to c to half ho gaya speed jaise double hui but a to b when speed has become doubled in terms of millisecond it will remain constant so in terms of theta kya ho jayega if it in terms of millisecond remains constant if speed has become doubled so in terms of theta utte time mein crank shaft kya hogi zyada rotate kar jayegi zyada rotate kar jayegi to at same point you are giving spark at 4000 rpm to combustion aapka kahan shuru hoga b kidhar shift ho jayega aapka right hand late ho jayega na late ho jayega late ho jayega to aapka peak pressure c aayega wo bhi late ho jayega if it will be deviated upon ne kaha tha the optimum timing sa when c is coming somewhere 5 to 6 degree after top dead center but due to increase in speed that c has gone away it means output of engine will go down aapka peak pressure bhi kam ho jayega jaise dur jata jayega peak pressure will be going down so when we are increasing the speed what will have to do what precaution will have to do so that c should remain at the same point what will have to do a will have to 
शिफ्ट अर्लियर एडवांस करना पड़ेगा अपने को ताकि ए एडवांस करके बी वहीं पे आ जाए बिकॉज इन टर्म्स ऑफ थीटा इट हैज बीन इंक्रीज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मिली सेकेंड इट रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम वन ए टू बी स्पीड हैज गोन अप सो ए शुड शिफ्ट टूर्ड्स द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो ए टू बी एट इट कैन इंक्रीज बट बी टू सी इट शुड रिमेन सेम सो सी पॉइंट इज फिक्सड ए इज वेरिंग सो ये स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ स्पार्क वेन स्पीड आर इंक्रीजिंग इट इज चेंजिंग बट द पॉइंट एट विच कम्बसन इज गेटिंग completed that will remain same so always your mbt timing which you are fixing that minimum advance for best torque it is fixing only at idling as speed of the engine we are increasing by varying the throttle position this spark at which uh, the point at which spark is taking place it is getting away from tdc it is getting quite away from tdc it is termed as advancing of the spark timing इसके मैकेनिकल मैकेनिज्म है वैक्यूम से है मेनी कंट्रोल्स आर देयर इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली इट इज बीइंग कंट्रोल्ड बट स्पार्क टाइमिंग्स आर कंटिन्यूसली वेरी दिस बर्निंग दिस बर्निंग व्हिच इज बीइंग टेकन प्लेस कंटिन्यूसली फ्लेम इज प्रोपगेटिंग आइदर इट इज प्रोपगेटिंग स्फेरिकली और इट इज प्रोपगेटिंग सिलेंड्रिकली व्हेन इट इज प्रोपगेटिंग ऑलवेज चांसेस आर द अनबर्ट मिक्सचर वन इज बर्निंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस फ्रॉम वन साइड रिमेनिंग इज अनबर्ट मिक्सचर Towards that unburnt side, lot of heat is getting transferred. Or, ऐसे होते होते ये हो सकता है कि unburnt mixer का temperature भी 450 से ज़्यादा हो जाए. The self ignition temperature of petrol is 450 degree Celsius. Without reaching the flame, unburnt mixer will be heated up to the temperature up to self ignition temperature more than 450 degree Celsius. There are chances that this mixer can auto ignite. Yes, and the auto ignition of this one is termed as knocking. So. um if you have heard if you have if you have seen on the petrol pumps it is written unleaded petrol is available meaning of unleaded and leaded petrol was before 2000 before 2001 lot of lead was being added into the petrol and purpose of lead was to increase the chemical reactions time increasing of chemical reaction times means even your petrol has reached to 450 degree celsius at, at its SIT, but if combustion won't start. अगर ऐसा कर दें कि पेट्रोल साढ़े चार सौ पहुंच भी गया हो अपने इग्निशन टेम्परेचर पे लेकिन ये बर्न होना शुरू नहीं हो मीन्स केमिकल रिएक्शन विच हैज टू बी कंप्लीटेड एट दैट एस आई टी टेम्परेचर दैट टाइम इज गेटिंग लॉन्गर बाई एडिंग दिस लेड इन टू दैट वन लेड जो एड करते थे अपन ऑक्टेन रेटिंग बढ़ाने के लिए मीन्स केमिकल रिएक्शन को वो स्लो कर देता था कई बार आप लोगों ने देखा होगा कि लोग अंगारों पर से चले जाते हैं गरम अंगारे होते हैं उसपे से लोग निकल जाते हैं एंड देयर स्किन इज नॉट गेटिंग बर्न रीजन फॉर दैट वन इज द स्किन नीड सम पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ बर्निंग एंड नॉट ओनली टेम्परेचर इट हैज टू बी मेंटेन एट दैट टेम्परेचर देन ओनली बर्निंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस सो आदमी जो अंगारों पे से चल रहा है द कॉन्टेक्ट टाइम इफ इट इज लेस देन द केमिकल रिएक्शन टाइम देर वॉन्ट बी एनी बर्निंग बर्निंग ऑफ द स्किन ओनली विल बी इफ इट इज गेटिंग मेंटेन एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर फॉर That particular time, then only आपकी burning होगी skin की Even inside the cylinder you observe the peak temperatures which are coming, these are around 2000 थाउजेंड डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड यूर सिलेंडर इज मेड विद कास्ट आयरन द मेल्टिंग टेम्परेचर ऑफ कास्ट आयरन अपर क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर इट इज अराउंड इलेवन फोर्टी सेवन साढ़े ग्यारह सौ होता है कंबसन टेम्परेचर आई एम सेंग रीच टू रीचिंग टू टू थाउजेंड डिग्री सेल्सियस यूर सिलेंडर मेटेरियल इज कास्ट आयरन वेर मेल्टिंग हैज टू बी एट इलेवन फिफ्टी इलेवन फोर्टी सेवन बट कभी मैंने कोई भी सिलेंडर को आज तक मेल्ट हुए नहीं देखा है इट इज नॉट गेटिंग मेल्टेड रीजन इज इवन टेम्परेचर इज रीच हायर देन मेल्टिंग टेम्परेचर बट फॉर दी पर्पज ऑफ मेल्टिंग दैट टेम्परेचर हैज टू बी मेंटेन फॉर सम पर्टिकुलर टाइम देन ओनली द रिएक्शन विच आर देयर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ मेल्टिंग दो रिएक्शन विल बी कम्प्लीटेड अगर वो रिएक्शन कंप्लीट होने से पहले अगर टेम्परेचर कम हो गया इलेवन फोर्टी सेवन से आपका टू थाउजेंड से लेस आ गया एंड केमिकल रिएक्शन हैज नॉट बीन कंप्लीटेड नो मेल्टिंग विल बी देयर सेम इज द केस with avoiding detonation knocking if heat is getting transferred continuously even temperature is reached to 450 degrees or more than that one but if chemical reactions which are to be completed for start of combustion if those reactions has not been completed no auto ignition will be there so lead which was being added it was basically for elongation of chemical reactions those are ke andar supreme court picture mein aaya unhone kaha ye lead to bahut toxic hai logon ke blood mein ja raha hai brain hemorrhages ho rahe hain चिल्ड्रन का आईटीओ सर्कल दिल्ली में काफी सर्वे किए गए एंड मेनी ऑफ दी स्मॉल चिल्ड्रन फॉर सफरिंग फ्रॉम दिस लेड कंटेंट 
lead is not taking part in combustion it is coming just it is one 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 additives which is enhancing the chemical reactions time but it is not taking part in combustion solid lead was coming into the atmosphere it was getting settled on some eatables some fruits some vegetables those fruits eatables we were we were taking and those lead contents were mixing with our blood blood is getting circulated from heart to brain and the nerve system which we are having uh, which is circulating this this blood it is very thin so the lead particulate which has been added into our blood they used to settle into our nerve system and chances of brain hemorrhage due to those lead contents was very very high that's why supreme court in 2001 they they said you ban this leaded petrol और आज भी इवन मैं आपको कह रहा हूं कि इंडिया के अंदर एक भी ड्रॉप पेट्रोल का ऐसा नहीं है जो अनलेडेड हो दिस अनलेडेड टर्म इज मिसलीडिंग ओनली द लेड कंटेंट्स हैव बीन रिड्यूस्ड अप टू 2001 द अमाउंट ऑफ लेड व्हिच वाज बीइंग एडेड दैट वाज रफली 0.13 ग्राम पर लीटर ऑफ 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 पेट्रोल नाउ इट इज से 0.012 लाइक दैट वन सो इट हैज बीन रिड्यूस्ड बट नॉट अ सिंगल ड्रॉपलेट इज अवेलेबल व्हिच इज अनलेडेड but the purpose of lead which was being added it was for increasing the chemical reactions now in 2001 when supreme court said that you please remove this one then some some alternative has to be for some specific reason it was being added so what should be the alternative so immediately refineries came into picture they have started to add benzene into this one around 6% benzene they were adding benzene is aromatic group ring structures and in the ring structure fuels are having higher octane rating their chemical reactions times are longer so around 6% aromatics were being added into this and benzene add karna shuru kar diya but problem with benzene was the vaporization of benzene is very rapid when we are purchasing petrol from the petrol pump your fuel tank is vented to atmosphere so lot of vaporization at the time of purchasing because it was being mixed into the petrol there from the fuel tank it was being vaporized from the carburetor it was being vaporized so in the atmosphere lot of hydrocarbons has started to be at so one side we have started to reduce the lead but another side the benzene and the, the benzene when we were adding lot of hydrocarbons were being added into the atmosphere so still it was a question that the lead was better or this benzene is better again supreme court came into picture they said you reduce the benzene quantity at present around 1% benzene is being added and small quantity of lead is available for maintaining that 90 octane number Now yeah, this is burnt and unburnt. I am sure, burnt and unburnt. First one, uh, first the, the circle which is there from B to D, flame is continuously propagating, no auto ignition is there. But in second one, second one between C and D, auto ignition is taking place, rapidly auto ignition. That is knocking tendency. And in P three diagram also there is variation in the pressures. Wherever there is variation in pressure, it means engine is knocking. And slightly this knocking is preferred. Even in Maruti, this knocking is permitted. they are saying knocking means constant volume combustion rapid combustion if rapid combustion is there your fuel efficiency is increasing thermal efficiency is increasing means average of vehicle is increasing kuch noise to hoti hai aur kai baar aap dekhna jab gaadi load mein hoti hai second gear third se second mein time pe nahi la paaye to kuch different type of noise is taking place that noise is also the knocking inside the cylinder so manufacturer intensely adding this knocking for the purpose of increasing the fuel efficiency in some of the cases in some of the इंजन्स ये आपके कंबसन का जो जो प्रोपगेशन है फ्लेम का समवेयर आई शोन दैट 90 परसेंट बर्निंग आई ए बी सी आई शोन ईयर मे नॉट बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन कंबसन क्वालिटी कंबसन ड्यूरेशन ड्यूरेशन ऑफ कंबसन इन द केस ऑफ पेट्रोल इंजन इट इज अराउंड 40 टू 50 डिग्री सेल्सियस इन डीजल इंजन इट इज अराउंड हंड्रेड डीजल इंजन आर लेस एफिशियंट एज कम्पेयर टू पेट्रोल इंजन एज फार एज देर थर्मल एफिशियंस इज कंसर्न रीजन फॉर दैट वन इज इन डीजल इंजन कंबसन ड्यूरेशन इज लॉन्गर in petrol engine combustion duration is 45 to 50 degree of crankshaft rotation in the case of diesel engine it is more than 100 longer the combustion duration we are deviating from constant volume combustion when we are deviating from constant volume combustion longer the combustion duration your peak pressures are going down your thermal efficiency is decreasing yes kuch aapke fuel air ratio wagera jo jo affect kar rahe hain engine ke efficiencies ko affect kar rahe hain ये मोटे कुछ मैं बीच में आपको एक दो वीडियो और दूसरे में दिखाना चाहूंगा जस्ट जस्ट आई बी स्विचिंग ओवर टू दिस वन अगेन आई बी कमिंग टू दैट सम मोर वीडियोस आई वांटेड टू शो यू
just I'll be coming to this point. From this point I am coming and uh, the combustion we have seen from a given size of engine our target is we want to obtain highest possible output first target from a given size of engine your output should be maximum another target which we want to have thermal efficiency of the engine should be maximum third one we want engine operation should be smooth and fourth one is exhaust emission should be minimum four are the, four are the major requirement one output should be maximum another one fuel consumption should be minimum third one noise should be minimum and fourth one exhaust emission should be minimum that exactly we want yes sabse pehle jab ye 1893 mein engine banne shuru hue the aap dekhiye 0.7 bhp engine ke liye jo cc chahiye hoti thi wo kareeb 1000 cc thi and now 1000 cc your 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 cars which you are having roughly how much output is there around 50 more than 50 horsepower 1000 से even 150 और स्पाउर भी 1000 सीसी से मिलता है and that time when we started the engines in 1893 1000 सीसी engine used to give 0.7 bhp so this we want from a given size of engine we want more and more output should be there Mercedes ने जो सबसे पहले गाड़ी बनाई थी 1901 में yes ये 35 और स्पाउर की थी और इसका engine का size जो 6000 सीसी था 6000 सीसी used to produce 35 hp yes and इसकी स्पीड होती थी 35 किलोमीटर पर आर की स्पीड से ये गाड़ी चलती थी आजकल की गाड़ियां देखो आप ये लास्ट कॉलम देखो आप और कोई नहीं देखिए 172 विद 1 लीटर 1 लीटर इज 1000 सीसी विद 1000 सीसी द आउटपुट व्हिच वी आर गेटिंग ब्रेक पावर व्हिच वी आर गेटिंग ब्रेक पावर को कई जगह पीएस भी लिखा हुआ होता है पीएस इज जर्मन टर्म इन फैक्ट जर्मन पीएस एंड दिस हॉर्स पावर इज सेम द पावर व्हिच इज रिटन इन पीएस एंड इट इज जर्मन इट इज सेम सो 1000 सीसी 1 लीटर इंजन इज प्रोड्यूसिंग 172 and what was producing earlier 0.7 bhp so our target is from a given size engine the output should be maximum and it is termed as power to weight ratio it is termed as power to weight ratio power to weight ratio of an engine of a vehicle should be maximum power jada mile aapka engine ka mass jo hai weight aapka kam se kam hona chahiye and for increasing the power output i am saying your volumetric efficiency should be higher your compression ratio should be quite high the air which you are supplying it should be utilized means no excess air and whatever air we are supplying its proper utilization has to be just this video i wanted to show you related to volumetric efficiency the am infinity ecu is legal in california only for racing vehicles which may never be used upon a highway <laughs> DE stands for volumetric efficiency, which is essentially how well the engine is using its cylinder volume. And we've all heard the saying that an engine is an air pump, and that's completely the case. What we use that pump for is to extract the chemical energy in a gasoline and turn it into horsepower. Volumetric efficiency is how well that engine does it per its given displacement. The only increase performance by throwing more fuel at it or less fuel at it, you increase the performance of an engine mostly by increasing how much air is moving through it. So if you've got an engine with upgraded camshafts, an engine with different cams is going to flow more air at certain RPMs than an engine with stock cams. And it actually may flow less air at other RPMs. It becomes more or less efficient at moving air. When you change things like camshaft, intake runners, like on the intake manifold, uh, exhaust runners and exhaust, exhaust pipe diameter, all these things are about moving air through the engine. Volumetric efficiency is just how efficient is the engine at packing those air molecules into that volume. The higher the VE, the more efficient the engine is, the more air it's moving. Thus, it's making more power. Uh, you'll notice many times that uh, your VE table looks a lot like your dyno graph, and that, that's no mistake. The more air you're moving, the more torque you're going to make. And a lot of times, at peak torque, you're going to be right around 100% VE, and that's no problem. Set. Unlike pulse width based systems, VE systems use airflow as their primary foundation. If you know your airflow, injector size, and target AFR, then a VE-based system like the Infinity will automatically determine how much fuel is required at any RPM under any condition. What this means is that once you set that VE table, you should forget about having to make fuel corrections. This will speed up your tuning time and lead to a host of other tuning advantages. For more information, visit amelectronics.com. Yes, Mr. Yes, for increasing power output, we need volumetric efficiency should be quite high 
higher the volumetric efficiency, higher the power output. And these are some of the formulas of volumetric efficiency. And engines are very, very sensitive as far as volumetric efficiency is concerned. Particularly in diesel engine, the work which I have done, my work was on diesel engines. I, I, did, I did my PhD from IT Delhi. And I was working on diesel engine, 5 horsepower engine I was working. And I worked for dual fuel engines. In suction, I was giving LPG. And for start of combustion, I was injecting the diesel into that one. So I observed sometimes even small obstruction in the intake manifold or slightly if your wall is leaking, particularly your exhaust wall may leak. If it is leaking, so at the time of compression, some of the air may go out. If wall is leaking, even it is in closed position, but some of the air may go out. Engine efficiency, thermal efficiency, normally if you are getting say 26%, if slightly wall is leaking, it may become some 17%, 18%. Means deterioration of, of, of engine uh, operation is very severe if change in volumetric efficiency is very little. Very little variation is there. You change in engine output is coming. You change in engine efficiency is coming. So foremost part in an engine operation is its volumetric efficiency. Always efforts has to be made to this volumetric efficiency. Chai wall ko bada karke, chai jo obstruction kam karke, chai friction kam karke, whatever the method may be, volumetric efficiency has to go up. ये वाल टाइमिंग भी आप लोग देखते हैं वाल टाइमिंग थियोरेटिकली वाल हैज टू बी ओपन एट टी डी सी इट हैज टू बी क्लोज क्लोज एट बी डी सी इवन एक्सोस्ट वाल हैज टू बी ओपन थियोरेटिकली एट बी डी सी इट हैज टू बी क्लोज एट टी डी सी बट फॉर गिविंग मोर टाइम मोर टाइम एंड नॉट ओनली मोर टाइम फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ ओपनिंग ऑफ द वाल मैकेनिकली सम टाइम इज नीडेड इंस्टेंटेनियसली वी कॉन्ट ओपन ऑफ द वाल बिकॉज इट्स ए मैकेनिकल कंपोनेट सो we want that inlet wall should be opened closed op, uh, completely at tdc so exactly at tdc we can't open we'll have to start before that one because it is taking time for the purpose of opening so there are mechanical reasons and even closing which we are doing exactly at bdc we can't close going to slowly we'll have to close otherwise there will be between came uh, between came follower there will be uh, uh, detachment and they may separate out so slowly we'll have to close them slowly we'll have to open them so your opening of inlet wall is start before TDC and closing is after BDC. Agar closing time mein thoda sa hi fark ho gaya aapka. Aapne wall proper set nahi ki aapne severe change in volumetric efficiency is coming. So ye wall timing bhi aapke jo open karte hai ya manufacturer deta hai. And vishesh roop se ye wala jo hai. This part if you see. This one. This one. The rocker arm and the, the, the wall stem which we are having. And there is a gap. There is a gap that is termed as tepid clearance between these two. If tepid clearance is larger, the, the, the rocker arm will be touching this wall stem, uh, means it will take time to fill up that gap and uh, for pushing. If that gap is smaller, immediately it will be touching to that one. So even the small change in gap will be affecting volumetric efficiency very high. So in the case of diesel engine, volumetric efficiency, particular diesel engine, I am saying because I worked practically on that one, years I worked on that one. So effect of, of, of these timings uh, are very, very severe on volumetric efficiency and effect of volumetric efficiency on power output, exhaust emission, smoke is again very, very serious, very, very severe. Uh, uh, this is scavenging period. With the help of fresh mixture, if you are exhausting the burnt products, that is again increasing the volumetric efficiency. Our target initially I said, we want that no burnt product should be inside the cylinder, maximum burnt product should go out. Uh, maximum fresh mixture should be inside the cylinder. So with the help of fresh mixture, if you are pushing the burnt products, then your volumetric efficiency is increasing. So it is 115. I'll be closing here. If some questions are there, uh, I'll be taking the questions. And then we'll be meeting tomorrow only because Dr. Ramesh will be reaching somewhere um, afternoon. So three lectures will be having from Dr. Ramesh's side. These will be very, very important sessions. Lot of work. Uh, he was my guide. In fact, PhD guide. I worked with him in IT, IT Delhi. The wonderful, wonderful uh, knowledgeable person, particularly in experimental part, is concerned. And then he joined IIT Chennai. He is working there in IIT Chennai. He was supposed to come here because weather is bad in in Chandigarh. His flight flight couldn't landed here. So, but he'll be reaching by by today evening. He'll be reaching. So tomorrow sessions, all three sessions will be giving to Dr. Ramesh. Uh, if, if any question is there, देखो कोई question है क्या? Arjot. Please, please take if some questions are there.
सिलेंडर में आनी चाहिए यस देन यस सर उसके लिए वाल वाल साइज तो बड़ा होना चाहिए वाल के लिए जगह ही नहीं है मैं कह रहा हूँ ना आप लगाओगे कहाँ पे इसके लिए क्या करते हैं फिर सुपर चार्जिंग करते हैं टर्बो चार्जिंग टर्बो करते चार्जिंग। हैं वो डेंसिटी बढ़ाने के लिए जो यस हेलो यस यस आई एम फ्रॉम वाईएमसी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फैजाबाद जी इन द पेट्रोल व्हीकल वी आर एडिंग एक्स्ट्रा प्रीमियम एक्स्ट्रा प्रीमियम पेट्रोल मेनी टाइम्स फॉर अ बेटर एवरेज ऑफ द व्हीकल नाउ What are the changing properties like combustion or uh, other parameters inside the flame travel <laughs> by uh, using extra premium petrol? Actually, uh, uh, whatever efforts are being done, all are related to octane number. Either one is lubricating properties, another one is uh, this octane number. Higher the octane number, higher the octane number. even engine operation is smooth and it is assumed up to certain limit engine efficiency is increasing so whatever this premium fuel efforts are basically enriching the octane number aapka jo chemical reaction ka time jo hai that will have to enhance if if severe detonation is there even efficiency is going down up to a certain limit if if, if knocking is there it is increasing the efficiency but after that one it, it decreases the the, the F, engine efficiency so Certain number in diesel engine above certain limit. If you are increasing, it will result in decrease in efficiency. But octane number, if you are increasing in petrol engine, higher the octane number, normally it is observed that thermal efficiency is increasing. And your flame propagation part, better fuel propagation. I'm saying, if combustion duration is being reduced, not drastically, slightly. If combustion duration we can reduce, your pressures will be slightly higher of the cycle. Your mean factor pressure will be. Higher and engine output will be more. Engine efficiency will be better. Yes, sir. Yeah. I am having a question regarding the combustion spark plug system. Okay. Uh, in the spark capacitor, hmm. and uh, when we give potential hmm. across the capacitor, then it spots and uh, will be. exactly electrically i may not be able to explain that one but principle basic principle is the condenser is a reservoir in fact it's a storage it's a storage of energy it is when primary circuit is 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 completed then battery is a storage and it is grounded when contact breaker is coming into picture when when primary circuit is getting break when rate of change of current is there in primary circuit then secondary winding is coming into picture from pr primary to secondary the 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 volt jumps and in high voltage is produced in the secondary and condenser is coming into picture when secondary to primary when when voltage jumps when when at spark plug when uh, um, uh, the quenching of of spark is there due to lower voltage when quenching is there then secondary circuit becomes open when secondary circuit becomes open that voltage jumps to primary one rate of change of current in primary and that time the energy in reverse direction which is coming it is being stored in condenser and what i understand even this condenser is not being used in electronic ignition system even without condenser people are operating exactly uh, how they are operating at higher speed i may not be knowing up to that extent electrical part but what we can understand from here it's it's a storage device and in primary circuit when when there is again closing of the circuit the, the built up voltage whatever we have stored stored into the condenser the, in building up the voltage in primary circuit it is helping otherwise engines are running at a very high speed suppose it is running at a 10000 rpm if 10000 rpm it is running in a minute 5000 sparks will have to produce if 5000 sparks we are we are produce and not only 5000 if four cylinder engine is there then 20000 sparks will have to produce in one minute so building up voltage in primary again that 12 volt that is not 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 i um, mean time available is not sufficient it is not building up so that time this condenser is helping for building up the voltage 
final second question is that hmm. if we have to increase the energy in per spark, hmm. then uh, we have to either we have to increase the uh, spark to gap or so we have to increase the gap in the spark plug or we have to increase the voltage. What we can do to increase the energy in this heater per spark? देखो स्पार्क आप स्पार्क गैप अबो सर्टेन लिमिट यू कांट इंक्रीज इफ इट इज लार्जर स्पार्क प्लग गैप देन वोल्टेज वोंट जंप फॉर जंपिंग वी नीड हाई वोल्टेज बिकॉज अमाउंट ऑफ एयर व्हिच विल बी अवेलेबल बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रोड्स दैट क्वांटिटी विल बी लार्जर एंड आयनाइजेशन ऑफ दैट एयर इट नीड्स वेरी हाई एनर्जी बट एनर्जी इज लिमिटेड फ्रॉम प्राइमरी टू सर्किट द एनर्जी व्हिच इज जंपिंग आइदर वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड सम हाई एनर्जी इग्निशन सिस्टम और इफ कन्वेंशनल इग्निशन सिस्टम वी आर यूजिंग दैट एनर्जी इज लिमिटेड एंड दैट विल हैव टू पास अक्रॉस द इलेक्ट्रोड्स तो so, अगर बहुत ज्यादा कर दिया तो आपका स्पार्क होगा ही नहीं बहुत कम कर दिया आपने अगर गैप कम कर दिया तो अमाउंट ऑफ एयर फेयर मिक्सर विच विल अवेलेबल बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रोड दैट क्वांटिटी विल वेरी स्मॉल सो अगर कंबसन शुरू भी हो गया तो भी आपका फ्लेम प्रोपोगेट नहीं हो पाएगी बिकॉज दैट अमाउंट वेयर कंबसन हैज बीन स्टार्टेड दैट विल वेरी स्मॉल सो आप इलेक्ट्रोड गैप करके एनर्जी नहीं बढ़ा सके एनर्जी तो जो इनपुट दिया आपने प्राइमरी से सेकेंडरी में जंप किया दैट इज एनर्जी ओनली पॉइंट एट एम एम विच आर में उसे ज्यादा कर दिया तब भी नहीं होगा कम कर दिया तो आपका कंबसन फिर स्टार्ट नहीं होगा यस 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 हाँ गुड आफ्टरनून जी जी Um, lead is always available. I'm saying after 2001, when Supreme Court came into picture, when these euro norms came into picture, after that one, the lead quantity has been reduced. Even even there is a story of for, for these euro norms also. Euro st stands for E U R O. It is European. Euro means European. When this fight was going on in India, uh, particularly this toxicity of lead, this fight was going on. Supreme Court immediately said that you stop this one. This exhaust emission should be controlled. There should be some norms, everything. So for for framing norms, it need time, it need energy, it need means lot of efforts. It is needed. So easiest approach for Indian industries was was that whatever other people are doing, whatever other countries are doing, if same we can copy. Yes, if same can copy. Suppose you are giving to your students one some some tutorial problems you are giving. Easiest approach for the students are. That the 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 student who is most talented, whatever he is doing, if it copy copy can be um, done. Yes. Easiest approach for the student. Same we people have done. In India we have done. But unfortunate was part was their copying is not not a bad thing. In fact, all the vehicles which has been manufactured in Japan or Germany or US, we people are copying. Not a single vehicle we people are having our own technology. For um, forget about the Tata and all small technologies. Otherwise, no technologies we are having, but we are using. Using technology itself is an innovation. There is no doubt about that one. But unfortunate part was there in 2001 when we said Euro one we are bringing. These were the norms which Europeans have devised in 1994. Their norms which they have imposed in 1994. Those norms we have copied and we have implemented in 2001. After seven years we are imposing the norms. Till that time lot of changes has come in the environmental conditions and that too in India. any any rule which is applicable anywhere in the world those rules are not universally applicable in india reason for that one our population base you see it is not only automotive vehicle pollution the the, the highest pollution which we are getting it is from our municipal solid waste it is lying huge population base we are having so enough methane is getting out into the atmosphere and in that environment the norms which we have put you are putting those norms which in european countries they have imposed in 1994 so how it can be useful here and surprisingly not a single vehicle manufacturing has been stopped stopped that time 
even even in implementing those norms these people have done some tricks particularly the cycle at which engines were being tested again supreme court came into picture they said even the testing of the vehicle which you are doing for the purpose of measurement of these exhaust emission the same cycle which europeans are using you use that cycle then the trouble came on the maruti the production of maruti for 6 months it has been stopped when exact cycle of of european countries has been implemented and then this 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 lead part because refineries are in in refinery it is not just just putting lead or just putting benzene every process has to be changed the the cost which are being imposed on the refineries it was too high and refinery lobby of our country is very very strong so they have put lot of obstructions into removing lead also so partly it has been removed from that one so that the financial condition of those refineries can also be maintained there is one more question when we use that air to take out exhaust that is done air may also go out which may cause loss in efficiency so sir does engine cycle any factor conversion parameters such as after burning and ignition lead hmm. actually no this uh, this philosophy Uh, still i am not agreeing in the case of host oak engine that helping exhaust gases to go out with the help of fresh mixture that this philosophy still it is not clear at least to me it is not clear reason for that one is when exhaust valve is in open position when exhaust is going on pressure inside the cylinder is higher than atmospheric yes and before completion of the exhaust we have opened up the inlet valve i am saying suction is always below atmospheric then only mixture fresh mixture will be entering into the cylinder pressure inside the cylinder will be lower than atmospheric pressure then only fresh mixture will be coming into that one so when burnt products were going out which were having pressure slightly higher than atmospheric and at that particular juncture we have opened up the inlet valve which is allowing the the mixture to go into the cylinder lower than atmospheric how lower than atmospheric pressure can help the burnt products to go out which are having higher pressure so most of the times with with overlapping some of the burnt product there are there are possibility they can go into the intake manifold in place of pushing the burnt products go out because their pressures are higher the the suction pressure is lower so burnt products may may enter into the intake manifold and particularly at the time of idling when rpm is quite low lot of burnt mixtures are entering into the intake manifold but there is no question of going out this fresh mixture with exhaust because their pressure is lower so forget about in four stroke engine that fresh mixture will be going out i am afraid that these burnt products are, are are going back into the intake manifold in two stroke engine this happens in two stroke engine from crank case we are we are supplying fresh mixture into the cylinder which is higher than atmospheric and that time your exhaust port is also open so that time your fresh mixture is going out because its pressure is higher than atmospheric any other question they are asking for ppt i will send will send don't worry don't worry we'll we'll give we'll give complete lecture actually i couldn't complete my lecture sometimes tomorrow i may get i'll complete that will be available youtube it is available ppt separately will be sending to them there is another yes Uh, uh, again again repeat sir it is heard that railway diesel engines are not switched off by in either state why is it so actually starting of the diesel engines very large size engines are there more than 1000 kilowatt engines are there they are starting because they are diesel engines starting is very very difficult with compressed air they are they are starting so once it has been started again switching off and again starting it's a very daunting task it's a difficult task and i'm saying in idling air fuel mixture is very lean in diesel engines around 70 75 80 we are having so fuel consumption is quite low when it is in idling state so again and again switching off switching on is not advisable in railway engines yes i am dr mangal from mumbai uh, university of science and technology hmm. uh, i'm asking a general question about the engines ji yes. See, yesterday itself, some good speaker was saying that if you want to simplify your design, or if you want to improve upon the design, go the simplest way. Let us not catch the nose the other way round. 
same way here, see we are designing all these engines for power, but nature has given the horse as the best engine and which doesn't pollute at all. And uh, so why don't we go back to that uh, best engine and it has all safety inbuilt in itself. Uh, can I have a Doctor? Doctor Niranjan, there is a cycle of all this system. Ye, kareeb apne 12,000 ka cycle hai. Jaise bhi apne, chahe Dwapar Yug ho, chahe Treta ho, chahe Kali Yug ho, ye 12,000 ka cycle hai apka. 12,000 ke cycle mein aapki sari cheezhe aayenge. Aapke ghode bhi aayenge, aapke engines bhi aayenge, aapki karem bhi aayegi, aapki pilot trains bhi aayenge, everything will be coming, but nature has to have balance. Agar balance nahi karoge, the fog which is in, in Delhi, every day we, we are observing. We think that fog is coming, it is not fog, it is smoke, these chemicals, these hydrocarbons, oxides of nitrogen, particulate matters, in the presence of sun, it is becoming smoke, it's a chemical. Long back in California, thousands of people died, then in, in, in London, smoke, again, lakhs of people died. In Bhopal tragedy, we are remembering, we, 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 we are still remembering. Same tragedy will be in Delhi. That's my prediction. It will be. So, ये सारी की सारी जब तक अति किसी चीज की नहीं होगी तब तक ये चीजें चेंज नहीं होगी. Our best friend was animal. Particularly in Indian conditions where 70 percent population is in India, no diesel, no petrol, nothing was needed. Everyone was healthy. Now from Punjab, from Batinda, Fazil ka one train leads to Bikaner. They are having a huge research can cancer research center. 300 new patients are entering into Bikaner daily. And the name of train is cancer train. So, जब पशुओं से था तो नहीं तो ये cancer थी, नहीं cancer train था, नहीं दवाइयाँ थी, नहीं chemical थे, नहीं fertilizer थे, नहीं diesel का धुआँ था, नहीं petrol का था. It is it's a cycle, and that cycle has to be completed. We have to go. Everyone has to go. We have to reach that, that destination. हमारी सब की ये चाय पूरी होगी. Thank you. Very okay. Bye. Engine size, if I am saying in terms of diameter, engine size in terms of diameter we are saying. In the case of petrol engine, we want the diameter should be as small as possible. So that flame has to travel lesser distance. If it is traveling more distance, chances of auto ignition of end part will be more. Because more time is required to flame to reach to end portion. So in the case of petrol engine, our efforts are to reduce the diameter to avoid knocking. In contrary to this one, in the case of diesel engines, we want largest Large. diameter engines. Reason for that one is the sprays which are coming out from the injectors. Yes, fuel is being sprayed. We never want that spray should touch to metallic part of the cylinder. If it is going on the metallic part, the, 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 the fuel which has touched to the cylinder walls, it will be mixing with lubricating oil, even it can go into the crankcase and unburnt it will remain. We never want that spray should touch to any component, any metallic component of the cylinder. So larger the size, larger the diameter, chances of touching those sprays to the cylinder walls, it will be minimum. So in the case of diesel engine, always efforts are to have larger diameter engines. In the case of petrol engine, um, the, the, the diameter of the engine should be small as possible. No question? So, okay, if no question is there, I'll extend my sincere thanks to, to every university who are participating. I hope this five days program will be a quite useful. Uh, my special thanks to Dr. Seema alone, I think participant from, from Vanastri Siva saying. So it's a great opportunity for me also to interact with you people and many questions are coming. Even in between also after closure of this program, if you people are having any queries related to this subject, particular subject, internal combustion engine, I am I am ready any time. Wherever you'll be sending your queries, I am ready to reply for, for, for all of these queries. Thank you, thank you very much.